Exactly. The helicopter scene? What the hell was going on here? No, actually, the Fast and Furious are 10 times better than Well, I like him 10 times better. He might like him. Entertaining. Like, I'd be, well, I'm gonna go see it, but I'm to see it like as a like, Transformers kind of film. Just yeah. go for a fun time. They're, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're definitely they get. I feel they get progressively worse because they get away from like everything that Fast and the Furious is, at least to me, and they just get more and more ridiculous. Like I had a podcast with another friend of mine, and we were talking about the Fast and the Furious uh, and why it's such a big deal, even though like the first, the fifth one, which kind of rebooted the whole franchise was and the fourth did no the fourth was kind of like whatever the fifth one actually brought people back well, i guess the fourth the crew one and the fourth like one that, was yeah. like okay so the fourth fast and furious is more so okay let's get these guys back together because they said hey we can was make money catalyst to bring them all back right and yeah. especially since he made his cameo in tokyo drift yeah and then the fifth one though was the one that's like oh we got that and we got the rock and they're going up against each other and blah 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 anyways and they just fell off the rails because the fifth one made no sense like they, they robbed this dude's car for no reason. This guy did mm-hmm. nothing to them, and he decided to rob his vehicle and kickstart this whole thing again for no reason. Yeah, just because the one dude was like, "Change or the guy like I take the blue car, or whatever." Like, yeah, and they didn't even meet each other. Yeah, at one point. So how would he know that there's like when he goes to her and says change of plans? It's like what plan? You they didn't <laughs> even know you were coming. It's yeah. so dumb. We're, why wouldn't you just follow? Anyways, I can yeah. go on for days about that. And the more I watch it, the more I dislike them. Like they're they're no longer just turn your brain off. They're just like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> but yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. Hey, yeah, that was way too long. What'd you guys think? Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the F word. Um, we're not doing a live <laughs> show this week or next week. Not that it matters if you're listening to it where you're listening to. Which if you are, I hope you're having a good time. Um, this is we're doing not doing it because of spoilers. The web is fucked and full of spoilers, so we're People trying are to. People fucked. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to avoid the end game spoilers because, well, you know more about it. Oh, yeah. What's been what? Okay, what kickstarted this whole thing? What's been going on with the spoilers for Endgame? So from like my guy, Amazing Fantasy on Instagram, who's like my Marvel news. Oh source. wait, sorry, I'm G. Anthony is here, and Vasili's here. Well, I'm so Vasili. sorry. <laughs> sorry, go ahead, your friend. So yeah, Amazing Fantasy. From what he told me is, the movie's already premiered in Saudi Arabia. And they Full, filmed, like legit premiere. Like it's they've it's been shown in Saudi Arabia. Wow! And they filmed the entire movie. And the four minutes that people are talking about are all the spoilers. Oh, the four minutes! Get out of here! So, uh, people are now like posting like it's on Pornhub and all these porn sites. It's hard to like get taken off. It's on those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. But meme pages are being dicks, and they're fucking posting the spoilers what to assholes. their followers. Like, even as like as that person with a following, I could not imagine. Being that much of an asshole to my followers, where I would, because a, you're gonna fucking lose so many people. B, you're not gonna gain anything off of doing it. Yeah. And yeah. C, you're just a dick. Because to do that to people who followed you and support you, just to kind of like tell them to go fuck themselves and like spoil would, uh, the biggest movie of the century. I wonder if I wouldn't be surprised if like the Russos or like Marvel went after these people legally. I don't know if they can. You With joint footage, I think they can. Yeah. Well, they'd have to track the IPs. They'd have to go directly to where it goes. But the thing is, once it spreads like wildfire. Where do you start it from? Right? Like, Disney has all the stones. They can do whatever they want now. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. The reach it's... is vast. Like... Well, this is my other thing because Jimmy messaged me um, on Instagram and he said, hey, be careful. It's going in comments. Like he saw yeah. a spoiler in a comment on Facebook. I'm yeah. not going on comments like for anything. I haven't know. been on Instagram or Facebook for three days now. The last one was when I posted on Instagram. Like I went in. I said, hey, we're not doing a live show because... Mm-hmm. We want to avoid spoilers in the chats or whatever because yeah. some douche is going to come in, drop something, and, leave. and then leave. So you this did, week uh, and next week. There's a thing that you can do on Instagram and Twitter. It's easier on Instagram because for, for Twitter, you have to like individually do the words. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like I gave you guys that whole list of words to block out. Yeah. So it, like anything in comments, it'll like manually filter out those comments. If anybody comments like Captain America, even if it's not a spoiler, you oh. won't see those comments. Oh, yeah. Right. You sent that. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I don't understand... I don't understand why anybody would even want to like I know we want to get every bit but why would you want to see it in such shitty quality like even the the good trailer the second I guess the third trailer after the final one the scenes that I saw which I was like man I wish I would have saw that on screen even though it's a little bit 
Well, I don't know. I just did. I like I clicked on it like an idiot. Just like Jimmy's like, I don't know why I clicked on it. He's like, I thought it was fake. So I clicked on the thing and I watched it and there were some awesome parts. And also some of the parts from that trailer, they're on advertisements on YouTube. They're on TV. Like I was at uh, Athens the other yesterday and there it was like there. It was on the TV. I was like, oh, shit. Like we were at a meeting. And like I saw in the background because the hockey game was on, yeah. and I turned and it was like the in like April sign. Right. And I'm like I thank God I missed this. You just missed it, yeah. yeah. So because there's there's one there's one part in it that it's it's it like a much. spoiler, yeah. but it's it's one scene that you're like, holy shit, something's going down, right? Yeah. I imagine if they would have put that in the very first trailer, no one would have an issue with it. No, but now that we've seen. The final trailer, and then yeah. there's three they other keep ones. Fucking like, releasing more. Like today, they released it. a new one. Like, well, stop and, doing and it. And there yeah. was there was someone that put up how um someone had put up that what was I going to say? Someone put up that uh, oh fuck, I've lost my train of thought now completely. Sorry. Anyways. But they don't need to release new trailers. No, I don't daily. get oh, that. So their campaign is like the biggest ever. Which, by the way, no shit. Yeah. Like anything that's involved with Endgame being the biggest thing ever, of course. The mm-hmm. biggest pre-ticket sales, the biggest viewings on the trail. Like I don't, it doesn't surprise anybody. Yeah. Um. All of that is like the the biggest, but it's like you don't have to. This could have been something. It just feels very typical for something that they didn't need to be typical with. Like mm-hmm. this is not a typical situation. Mm-hmm. My thing would have been like, all you have to do is a month before the movie comes out, drop one small like thirty second teaser, tickets available and done, and people will like kill themselves oh, trying to find sure something. they will and they said the first 15 to 20 minutes and i'm calling bs because there's no way they stuck to that time frame well my only thing is this what it's control hard. do they have on the trailers not every director i'm assuming in this case they have control of the trailers that they put out but a That's lot of cases Feige, think? i think so because most of the time they don't there's very few directors that can actually cut their own trailers like quentin tarantino mm-hmm. is one director who can, who he cuts his own trailer. Yeah. Um, I don't remember which other ones do, but I know him specifically. You don't Most think the time the Russo's and Feige work together on the trailer? I no. Feige has nothing to do with the trailer. Okay, so and a lot why, of directors why wouldn't, wouldn't. The, why wouldn't the Russos have anything? Who would who is that job it, do you think it'd go to? It goes to a company. There yeah. there's an actual company they send it to and the company puts the trailers together. That's why so many really? of them get spoiled. Oh, because like how many hands it goes by. And, See, and, that's, and it's a third that's party. That's a dumb move. Like why? Yeah. I, Mar- Marvel well, Studios employs how many hundreds or millions of people at the end of the day well even then though you, unless the direct in my opinion well, if it's something thousands. this big when you, if you have thousands of people let's yeah. say that are involved in the movie yeah. let's say a hundred people are cutting are working in the trailer department that have to go through the movie or yeah. they're only sent specific things to put in there right they're like okay out of these we're giving you 10 scenes and you can only take 30 seconds of each scene right and yeah. it shouldn't be spoiler but a lot of times they are if the directors aren't there to do it then but how many directors have the time to do it to sit there and, and take all these scenes and cut together a 30 second trailer? Most don't because press runs, other movies to promote, other yeah. things to, excuse me, to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Also, because they're spending time making sure that this film is perfect. So instead of editing trailers, they're editing the movie. Hasn't it like gone gold? Aren't they done with that game though? Or didn't they say they're like done editing it? I, I hope so. I hope so. So now it's probably just out of those scenes that they gave that company, they're probably releasing other things from them. So in that, if that's the case, then the Russos would have been fine sending them that footage mm-hmm. for them to cut if, in fact, the Russos didn't cut the trailer. Yeah. So that's my thought process. But they also stated they sent a lot of fake, or they have, they're have they showing a lot of fake scenes. Yeah. And I, and I think just like Infinity War, um, just like every other trailer now, there's... There are some change. There's fakes for sure. Yeah, but I think they're doing it on purpose. Like not just like yeah. showing scenes that aren't gonna be in the film, but like right. deliberately showing scenes that like misguide and mislead. Well, even when we saw with Affinity, where at the end of the day, when they do now, now you've seen all the shot for shot kind of things. What it, what the trailer showed us the first one versus <clears throat> what actually the movie was. So like you know, big one is like Iron Man when they first are fighting in New York. He's taking his glasses off. Well, in the trailer, it's just his jumpsuit kind of thing or his track suit and then in the actual yeah. movie he's already Iron Man suited that's up. the reveal of his suit yeah yeah, exactly. yeah yeah and that's fair but for sure it is um yeah. Game of Th- okay let's not get into Game of Thrones yet because yes we are talking about Game of Thrones obviously um Hobbs X-Men? and Shaw trailer we kind of talked about guys, was Star no. Wars 
before, like last week. Star Wars trailer came out on Friday. So we, we're going to talk. Yeah. Let's talk. So Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Phoenix. And I didn't see the Phoenix trailer. Who cares? Well, like, I'm not, I don't care. No? I'm not seeing Phoenix. Like, hold I'm on. Not hold on. Hold on. Time. You know what? I'm, we're going to do a live uh, Phoenix review here. I hope it's not four minutes. I know we kind of talked about Shaw, but to me, uh, ultimately, Phoenix. if we're going to touch on it, it's Phoenix. Uh, they are trying very hard. And it's it, to me, it's it's uh, final trailer. The, the rocks. Again. Sorry. Yeah. Anyone listening, sorry, you're going to be listening to a bit of the trailer. Like, Mystique looks like the, not even the Walmart version of Mystique. Like, it's like the knockoff. You think they lost a lot of well, budget? <laughs> no, not budget. She just complained so much about the makeup, which I kind of get, yeah. that she's like, I don't want all of this stuff. Okay. Marvel Studios. She should be dead. Oh no. Ooh. Something's happening to me. It feels like they're doing this for people that have no idea, which I'm assuming the majority of people have no idea what the hell the Phoenix is. Mm-hmm. I'm getting Spider-Man 3 vibes right now with her, like, dark power, and it feels good. And, yeah. yeah. Also, I'm surprised. I'm wondering if they're taking the stuff that already happened to her in Apocalypse. Like, how, how close after Apocalypse this yeah, is happening. Yeah. Well, it's, it should follow right after. You'd think so. Yep. Well, with, call, give or take a few years, right? Yeah. Because they're all older, blah, blah, blah. My guess is that uh, they're not going to have... Um, a Quicksilver I think cool music. It. Well, no, they showed a, a bit of it, but I don't think it's going to be like the other ones. You know how Apocalypse oh, yeah, yeah. copied the... I don't think it'll fit in this movie. No, it would It's wouldn't. so dark. Dark Phoenix, get it? Wow, look what, look what happens when Sansa takes control of the Seven Kingdoms. I mean, it doesn't look awful. The trailer was fine, but like, yeah. I'm just, I know it's going to be a bad movie. That's a better trailer than um, the last one. I still like the apocalypse personally. I, you know, the one after once they've kind of retconned one, two, and three, and you like the apocalypse. I like apocalypse. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I just yeah, it was good. But you're the resident guy that likes most things. Sure, call it that. Whatever. Um, you want. <laughs> I still enjoy which, it. Which scares me though. When you don't like something, that means you really don't like something. I don't mm-hmm. think that, like even in our entire Marvel thing, there wasn't a single thing you rated less than a six but I had a, or a five. I think you had a five in there. Yeah. Everything else was like above board, above mm-hmm. seven. Yeah, um, yeah, that was fine. I, the Mystique makeup looks super cheap. Their costumes look super cheap too. Like I think I can't imagine they look any cheaper because they've had the same ones for the how many movies now? No, like they the actual like, end of they? Apocalypse. Like then they got the new suits. Yeah, but they look. They seem to look better at the end of Apocalypse. Right, than right. They oh no, they're different suits. So I know, like yeah. the ones at the end are different because they were brighter. Pink and now they're like. Yeah. Dark doll, yeah. yeah. Well, it's dark phoenix. Well, it's not gonna be bright phoenix. I guess so. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I personally miss the <laughs> dark leather from the two thousands. There you go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. doesn't matter she too looks, too much. No. Um. Last one. Star Wars. Star Wars Episode Nine trailer came out. Um, yeah. I'm officially dubbing it as "Please don't hate us from Last Jedi." Here's all the things that you love about Star Wars. Here's Lando. Here's this. Yeah, here's yeah, that. Yeah. Here's yeah. all the fan servicey stuff. To make you feel good and be like, no, it's going on track. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. I like it. It you shows. Like it shows that like, obviously Ray and have hon- has honed her powers and stuff like that. There's a lot of speculation out there that she's been, she's already reached Jedi Knight kind of status already. And- well, through her training um, with, like, you know, holograms of... Well, how many years after is this from Last Jedi? good question. It doesn't look like there's many know, years. Yeah. Like, she hasn't aged a bit. I don't know. But... Uh, I mean, she has great skin in general, but it doesn't yeah. seem like she's aged The theory is there's, like, the the Force ghosts of, like, Skywalker, Obi-Wan... Well, now that we know that a Force ghost can burn things, yeah, could have been really helpful. Yeah. yeah. If all of them just come back, it's like, oh, we can actually affect you guys. yeah, yeah. Anthony. So I thought it was like it was pretty cool. I like the first like scene like where she's running and does like the backflip. Mm-hmm. I saw it was like uh, homage, homage, no homage, 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 yeah. whatever. Homage. homage, that's a good homage. one. Too. Okay, homage. It was an homage to like a I don't forget what the movie's called, but it was like a scene where some guy's running and does like a back backflip over a car. 
I think it's on my phone. Uh, Let me try. I think I screwed something. I don't remember. I'm going to steal it. Uh, <laughs> let's see this. Uh, what did you think? Okay, oh, uh, overall, I thought like I'm I'm excited. I think it looks really good. Like, mm-hmm. can we see this movie right here? Uh, <sighs> North beer. by Northwest. It was over a plane. Uh, let me zoom in. North by Northwest. Is that what the movie's called? Yeah. Oh, it's like from oh. 1959. They said, yeah. Wow. Sounds cool. Uh, I'll, I don't know, but I thought overall it looked good. Like the title, I was fine with. At first, yeah. I thought it related to Ray, but I realized it was Kylo Ren, so I felt like an idiot. Yeah, the Skywalker. Yeah. yeah, but why would the last? Why would like him being the last Skywalker? Well, rise of Skywalker. Or Rise of Skywalker, yeah. does that mean that he, the Order takes over? Well, it could be the, the rise of him to become like or the Darth the, Vader level or Rise to become a Jedi. Or him and Rey get together and they have a baby and that's the last <laughs> Skywalker. Uh, and, and the, but it's him yeah. rising. Wait, wouldn't it be a solo? Well, no, but, but like Skywalker Jesus. Leia. Leia is Skywalker. Him literally rising. Some people like, are rises. speculating. Wait a the minute, one that theory out there is so that, different now. The one theory is that like... Basically, it's it's a name now for anyone who has who's a instead of calling them the Jedi's because they like the Jedi's done, the Sith is done, the First Order, blah blah blah. That's all garbage. They're so they're calling the Skywalker for whatever reason because they have the abilities of the Skywalkers. Kind of like, kind of, like that might be part of it. Mm-hmm. Was right. Rose in the trailer? No, Thank I God. think they've gotten rid of her. Maybe she died. Actually, no, <laughs> no, she isn't because I remember she was at the panel for Star Wars when they when they released the trailer. Oh, really? Nothing against the actor because I know she like no they, just a no, dumb storyline. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. about there's nothing wrong with her. It's just what they mm-hmm. did with her in the movie was terrible. I guess fans are also terrible because they pretty much ran her the fuck out of uh, out of Twitter, oh, making yeah. her feel shitty. Yeah. But it's the it's the like it's it's the director and the director and what he did with her. Mm-hmm. Like every time I think of the Last Jedi from. I dislike it more and more for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I watched like a super cut version of it. And, and by that, I mean like I watched a thing on YouTube kind of like it was cinema sins where he was talking about like um, thing, terrible things or whatever, the worst things or whatever of, uh, of that. And I was just like, yeah, like it's really like, I can't forgive it for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I can't forgive it for a lot of that stuff that they did. And I like, I can't say I like it for like four or five things that happened. Because the whole Poe thing and uh, what was the general? Forget her name. Admiral. Wasn't it? Admiral or whatever. Admiral. That whole thing was so annoying. Like it was just, it was really annoying mm-hmm. and just everything. But I don't know. This trailer didn't do anything for me at they all. They didn't have a big uh, scenery either to work with. At the end of the day, they stayed pretty much on the ship, the casino, and then whatever Ray was doing. Like yeah, it was it, very, very limited at the end of the day. Of course it was. And, and mm-hmm. when, <laughs> first of all, when did Lightspeed ever require fuel? They've never established that in the Star Wars universe. Mm. Um, well, I mean, you could power. Like, they needed power. But they said fuel. Fuel well, and power are two different things. Also, yeah, that so. little uh, well, it makes pod, sense, obviously. The, I think I think that's just a given. You yeah, do like need fuel. You assume, but they never, no one's ever ran out of fuel to go into hyperspeed or light speed or whatever in the Star Wars universe ever until now. Ever. Like, and mm. I'm telling you, I went on a tear on these supercut things, right? Yeah, yeah. And none of them had ever mentioned it in any single one. And not only that, the pod that Rose and Finn went on, that had hyperspeed. Couldn't you steal the fuel from about seven or eight of those? Get yourself the hell out of there. And the when f- did the guns not have range? Like, when did it turn into, uh, like, our guns are out of range when they're literally, like, it, it just seemed like there was a lot of really weird things to keep everything in place. Like the more I think about it, when I watch this thing, then I watch another a couple other things that are like, this is why it's great. And I the things that were great about, it, I'm like, I get. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, I was already on board with these since day one. Mm-hmm. But going into this movie, because of that movie, it just seemed like, uh, please don't hate us. Here you go. This is all the stuff that you guys want to see because you mm-hmm. guys don't really want anything to change. And uh, as Star Wars fans, because like he changed a bunch of stuff, and essentially he gave a middle finger to all the fans and what their theories were. Mm-hmm. Snoke meant nothing. Apparently, Ray's lineage means nothing. Uh, well, for now. Mm-hmm. But as as far as a movie trailer, yeah, it didn't do anything for me. Like there was nothing in there that I was like, "Oh, I need to see this." Not like, even the end. No, nothing. You didn't care about that. The that was so back? stupid. He's dead. Is he though? But in like no, the but books, I don't. I don't need. Back. But again, that's even worse because then it's like, but wait, we brought Palpatine back for no reason because Snoke was apparently inconsequential to the entire Last Jedi or. The Star Wars Force Awakens. Mm. So the bottom mean? ones from the trailer. Yeah. This was like when Ray's parents left her. Yeah. And the bottom ones from the trailer. So same yeah. ship. 
So the theory behind bringing okay. the number one thing, J.J. Abrams, uh, the, he always had intentions to bring Palpatine back. Go for Palpa Palpatine. So the theory out there is the fact that you know Palpatine is Darth Plagueis. He had right. access to the clones. So how many bodies of the clones did he create of himself? Well, the thing with and Blake, he could force. Well, let's say, the books think too, about yeah. he force jumped his his consciousness, his soul into those clones. Um, he is Darth Plagueis. He is Snoke, um, and all the all the dark force powers made him look disfigured the way he did. Mm-hmm. So Palpatine's never gone away is the theory that was brought forward. And that's fair. It's not like out of the realm of possibility. Like, yeah, he, right. he, we have no idea how extent he's he's gotten his powers to. Maybe it's Plagueis the whole time and took over Sidious, his body. We don't know. Yeah, but he told that story in episode two. Three. Or, yeah, three, when he yeah. was saying there was a Sith Lord or whatever, he could come yeah. back and whatever. Yeah. And there was the theory, like the hint, hint, that I was the one that killed Plagueis. True. So then, since then, which... I don't think it's a very good idea for these new this new run of Star Wars to ever reference the prequels because they're terrible. In I saw people way. try to say the prequels like the prequels weren't awful to me. They were like whatever. Like I haven't seen mm-hmm. them in a while, but I didn't think they're like you know the worst thing I've ever seen. Hated them. But people said it goes original trilogy, prequels, and then the sequels. And I'm sorry, original trilogy is iconic. Yeah. But in terms of like movies, like it's not that like they're not that good of movies. Like. Could like Force know. Awakens to me, a New Hope. Like Force Awakens just is a better New Hope. Like it's an, a remastered version in my mind. Mm-hmm. Not in terms of uh, not in terms of established characters and uh, what it set up out of nothing. Yeah. That's the thing people got to remember. The original Star Wars came out of literally nothing. There was no source material. There was no nothing. The whole run of Marvel and DC and all that they have source material to go back from. And they have the books. This came Star out Wars. of this came. Was well, that before the movies though? What the books were around? What was? So there was source Star Wars books. books? No, there wasn't. George Lucas came about Star Wars by himself. So all that his stuff was only, created. His only reference was a movie called The Hidden Fortress, which was an Akira Kurosawa movie. That was like, uh, he was like, oh, I like this. And he he referenced, like he used that as kind of a template. But there was not, there, there was no such thing as Star Wars ever. He, this, like, that's what makes George Lucas, although mm-hmm. people make fun of him and he's kind of like the way that he, what he did, even with that. But, like, you created an entire universe just from the ideas in your head. No, nothing to go off of. They're like, you know what? I'm going to have this and this. And the entire time people were making fun of him while they were filming it. That's the other pretty incredible thing. And he's like, no, screw you guys. I'm going to do it. Unfortunately, that screw you guys. And he didn't direct all of them. They actually had another person direct Empire Strikes Back, which is why it's the better one. But to your point, I think The Force Awakens is only good because A New Hope is good. And yeah, it's maybe updated, sure. But in terms of the way that they, they introduce characters and the way the, the, the dialogue isn't great, but the actors brought it out. Because it's the same dialogue and they just the characters in the prequels weren't able to bring it out very well. Sure, mm-hmm. there's probably better writing. But I mean, that's that's the thing about originals is because like, okay, sure, it was a remaster, but it was also 1970 or something like that. It yeah. was like 71. But, but like another thing too, like I think Star Wars fans are some of the like most toxic fan base out there. Mm-hmm. Like nothing pleases them, yeah. like no matter what. Uh, but I feel like I'm gonna say like out of the four movies Disney's made, because like everybody like a lot of Star Wars fans hate Disney for some reason because they feel like they ruined Star Wars. Out of the four they've made, I'd say fifty percent of them are good. Fifty mm-hmm. percent are bad. So Solo and uh, Last Jedi are bad. Mm-hmm. Solo wasn't like awful. It was just kind of like. Meh. It was like it, Suicide Squad. You, you know, didn't like, need it. It was like a DC, like DCEU and the like Suicide Squad. I'd well, say it's that. Yeah, I don't know if that's interesting. Anyway, sorry, go on. Uh, Last Jedi was just bad, but like Rogue One, arguably one of the best Star Wars movies. Force Awakens like brought Star Wars back like in a big way for a new generation to actually like, yeah. like Star Wars. Like for mm-hmm. me, that's like my new hope. Like cause I knew about Star Wars back in the day. Like I knew like there's nothing that surprised me. But like seeing it in theaters for the first time, like in that way was just like crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, and they did a good job with it. Like, I really liked it, too. Yeah. I'm just not a massive Star Wars person because, like, my, again, my first experience is with those ones. Even though the first Star Wars I ever watched was A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back when we were, like, young. Mm-hmm. But I had no concept of what was going on. I think it was, like, seven years old or something. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this trailer doesn't seem to do anything except for try to, like, service the fans. It could end up being 
like amazing. Well, it is like a teaser trailer too. It comes out in December, so yeah. But it still has to like the teaser trailer for Force Awakens. I still remember it like it was yesterday, and it was a great trailer. Like, like the one where like the he was in the like forest and it was snowing and dark and he was, like, yeah, like, like, which I really wish they had that scene in the movie they because they didn't. Um, and the Knights yeah. of Ren, like I really like, I got super excited for the Knights of Ren. They, they were, were nowhere to be found. They weren't even in the trailer, though, were they? Not in this yeah. one. They never. Were in, but they were no. They were, they in were the set first, up in the Force Awakens. They were set in the Force trailer? Awakens trailer when he was in the uh, in the forest and it was raining, and we first yeah. saw the hilted lightsaber. Yeah, the Excalibur looking lightsaber. Yeah, and the, the guys behind him, and then the score was perfect. Every like, I got yeah. super jacked for that trailer. Mm-hmm. This one just was like, the... and it was awkward too of her like looking. And then yeah. we're waiting. What are we waiting for, Kay? And then she does the run and she does the flip over. I'm like, maybe in context it'll be better than what's actually happening. Yeah, probably. Um, you saw us on the trailer that there, someone's rebuilding Ren's uh, mask. Mm-hmm. And it might not be him. It might be someone in the Knights of Ren contesting him because he doesn't care about any of that anymore. Like, he's just trying to create his own new thing. So, well, and that could be the Skywalker rising, is that, like you mentioned, yeah, where yeah. he might be the one that's like, you know what, this dark side stuff is, I'm done with it. Yeah. And I have no more Luke to be pissed off about. Well, he's he was done with it even in Last Jedi, technically. He's yeah. like, all of it needs to burn. Screw it. We'll create our own new thing. Yeah. But he still wants to be in charge. <laughs> right. And that's so. where him and General Hux. Is that yeah. Name? Well, Hux now is under his thumb regardless. So that's... He's under not even... his thumb or yeah, he's under Hux's thumb? No, Hux is under his thumb because he's scared of him. He clearly was. Now, whether they're going to change that... But Hux contested him when he went too far. Like, obviously, he was, like, just kept shooting at Skywalker. Yeah. When it's like, hey, you caught him. Fine. Like, keeps him in check in some way. But at the end of the day, he's still scared of him. And you can tell. Yeah, but Hux has more people. All they all need to do is just turn at once and shoot him once. Doesn't mean he can't stop him. If you have 100 people circling you and they all shoot You've at once. You've seen stormtroopers shoot things, okay? Yeah. They're awful. Neighbors. But that's why I'm saying they have to circle around so everything converges in the middle. Could I think that's always been their biggest issue. Could you not, like, force whip away all their guns? and Not gone? all of them at once. He's not that powerful. Maybe he is. You don't know? Well, that's what I'm saying, though. He's not that powerful. <laughs> and we don't know. But that's what's wrong with it. And that's what was wrong with the Snoke thing. Is that, mm-hmm. wait a minute. Snoke set up as this all seeing, all being, omniscient type of thing that can feel his everything. And, and I thought he yes, was, like, was when he said that line. I thought he was like, you know, like mocking him, like I can see everything. And I yeah, thought he knew. I actually and, thought and so too. Peter, he's gonna grab like, it. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, what <laughs> to that point, though, like he was turning his, thing, like he was trying to direct the two. But if he was able to know what he's thinking, then he'd be knowing. He's like, oh, I'm gonna trick him right now and do this thing. Yeah. But yeah, the Palpatine thing, I again I think it's just a ploy and I don't think it's I think it's gonna be a stretch. They're gonna be like, wait, this guy from here at this time is a big deal and because he's been stowed away forever, now he's coming back with a laugh. Like if he's a force ghost and he can come back, then just get every other Jedi to come back and just like they can just fight force ghosts. Well, I don't all think over like a Sith can be a it's force. It's like the ghost. Star Wars version of uh Ragnarok. <laughs> Because the whole point is that the gods of like uh, the Norse, like they have a big battle in mm-hmm. the skies. Mm-hmm. So it's like the Force people have it a battle. It wasn't gods in the skies. It was Odin and Hela going after all the realms. Ragnarok? Yeah. Are you the, talking about the, the movie or no, the actual event? The actual event. The true oh. Norse like mythology behind it is the fact that like, sure. all the gods are having a big ass battle and every, every Viking, Viking war. Royale. Battle Royale. So it's like, now it's the start the way you're experiencing. It's like Star Wars Battle Royale with like well, all the Force Ghosts. <laughs> if he's going to come back with his electricity, then why yeah. the fuck can't Yoda come back and like burn shit like he did before? I or, think like, yes, yeah, I don't think Sith, I think I read that Siths can't come back as Force Ghosts. So then, yeah, what's They're his different. whole Palpatine thing? Well, I think it is because I remember I like reading that in the books there yeah. were clones of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like he came back that way. Because he's the one who put in so, the initial order. <laughs> and, and that's <laughs> the and that's where it's going to be as a viewer, like how much exposition are they going to need to actually make this make sense? For anybody that has been following it, because for people that haven't mm-hmm. seen the originals, for whether they think they're outdated or whatever. Star Wars and they're going to see a new one. Like, I feel like... Well, you'd be surprised. I know a lot of people haven't seen Star Wars, but I don't think like they'd rush out to go see the, like, uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Mm-hmm. There are yeah. a lot of people who haven't seen a single MCU movie at my school who bought tickets for Endgame. And I'm telling them, what the f- are you doing with your life? Like, why would you go? Like, that's like w- watching Game of Thrones' final episode. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to go watch a series. Um, Yeah, before we get into Game of Thrones, what, what else do we have? We talked about that. We talked about... I got like I got a new game, World War Z, which is interesting. Good. It's like, game. Yeah, so it's Zombie. based off a movie, yeah. And it's like, it's just like a mindless game. It was 50 bucks, so I figured, like, I've been bored. Mm-hmm. And, like, you just do these missions, and there's just hordes of zombies that follow you around. It's like that's Rising. Days Gone. 
Dead Rising. Oh, it's like exactly like Days Gone. Days Gone, Dead Rising. Any other mo- zo- and well, like Left 4 Dead. Okay, hold on. The thing with <laughs> Left 4 Dead is Le- called Left 4 Dead 3 because that's like pretty much what it is. Is it Left 4 Dead 3? It's I love Left 4 Dead. They were awesome. Le- they were fun. People call it Left 4 Dead 3 because that's pretty much what it is. So if okay. you like Left 4 Dead, check it out on YouTube. Uh, you know what? I will. Um, <laughs> well, 50 bucks. So. And the thing with Days Gone is like you're constantly chased by this horde of zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in World War Z, like the movie, there are a million zombies. And they're climbing up on each other. It's yeah. like. But yeah, it's like Days Gone, except there's like no story. It's kind of just like missions you do and you find stuff. Yeah. That's all right. But yeah. I don't know. Is it fun? Oh, it's fun. I'm enjoying myself, yeah. I realized that um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably like, it's probably the beginning of the end for the PlayStation 4 in terms well, of- Well, I heard the PlayStation 5 is coming out well, 2020. 2020, because they released some new stuff. No loading screens. Um, Backwards compatible. The whole deal. Like, it's pretty impressive. Like, and the reason That's is because the they announced- behind it. At the Wait, end no the loading day, screens right? though for games? No loading screens for anything. Even if you it's play fast. So that's why. The, the thing is, is that now if you have a loading screen of like seven minutes, supposedly it's going to be like less than a second to go from one to the other, which is so pretty GTA incredible. Five, because like that shit was insane. Not you know just what, that, though? like The Witcher Three, which I adore, is the same thing. I know Red Dead had some big loading screens. A lot of the big games have them because the loading screens are there to fill in the time. That's why, like, you had interactive ones, like in Assassin's Creed Two or, or one where you can run yeah. in a circle in a void. Yeah. Just to get so is that a game thing or is that more of a hardware thing? It's a hardware thing, but it so also you to that now I know like I I know a couple of people who own PS4s and have actually swapped out their whatever they have in there for an SSD. Sure. So with the SSDs everything's going to be like a split second regardless. But the actual hardware that's in there for the games that are backwards compatible, yeah. like you will actually have no loading screen. No, I get that. Games. But I, I imagine that's what they're doing in the PS5. They're putting in a massive hard drive plus an SSD well, card to run most of the stuff. They're probably adding I didn't look at the tech stuff, but it's yeah. it's crazy it's how much stuff they have. So if it, but it's going to be that fast, I guess like That's how much consoles are though. Like people said it's $100 more. Oh, fuck. I that's see a, this that's thing. American. That's I why. See. It's 600 Canadian. Oh, fuck. yeah. That makes Wait, sense. The PS5 they have a price tag? It's 500. Really? But I, I'm like thinking like Shit, I thought a, it was gonna be like fifteen hundred bucks. I, I remember saying like my PS five, my PS four is five hundred, but then I just clicked. It's American. I don't America. think they ever release a console that expensive because well, they PC. know like you just go for a PC at that well, point. Exactly, you buy a PC, spend that money, and like yeah, really build yourself. A exactly. PC. So, like that's what I'm I'm looking at. Because with a PS four, like upgrade mine. <laughs> but if a PS four is that expensive, like PC can play like any game you want, like emulation yeah. and shit like that. So you might as well just go well, for like that. You any... have to upgrade every year. There's a couple years. GTA Five. There's people that do like on realism, realism mode, yeah. and like, yeah, it looks ridiculous. Even The good. Witcher Three, a game that came out in 2015, I was uh, a friend of mine sent me some videos of someone that did it like really? hyper realistic, and I was like, shit, like this came out in 2015, it looks amazing. Guys, probably running like the highest video card, best well, process, or everything, like so. <laughs> and that's where when I bring up Red Dead Redemption Two, like that game. The more I think about that game, the more I really really adore it and Mm -hmm. like it's one of those benchmark games that we'll never see that type of we'll never see that type of commitment to a game i personally believe ever and the reason i'm saying that is that game could be sold for 130 dollars i would pay 130 to 150 Mm dollars and you would get everything out of it they even added the entire red dead redemption one map okay and you don't even go to it except until the end spoilers Oh, um, there's an epilogue, which could have been just is a that, DLC. Is that another like city altogether? Is that why? No, it's an entire like the the entire country outside of you going to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption one. OK, it has the like that whole bottom half. You don't go to until the end, like after you've beat the game or whatever. And they just added it. Everything's exactly the same. Mm-hmm. And they did not need to do it. They added like, a, a, again, DLC worth. It was about five, seven hours or so, like just story extra build leading for connecting red dead 2 with red dead for free um for free hmm. there was it, nothing it, it was it was witcher 3 level stuff where witcher the witcher 3 i adore from everything because they just gave you everything two free dlcs mm-hmm. which were incredible all in one price no bullshit no like loot boxes in, no nothing and it's an extra it's it's the initial price like so that you paid the 70 and you got those two extra things yeah man see because now now, actually, like I've been looking on Xbox and stuff like that, but every game, every most like those big, uh, big name games, I guess you can mm-hmm. say, there's like five different versions of them. We'll look at Assassin's and, Creed, and you'll get up to like, and I paid for it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, those are certain games. I'll pay for it. Sure. Other ones, like, like even um, what is it? Uh, son of a bitch, the like, uh, well, Star Wars can... game. Oh the, yeah, uh, Force Awakens. No, no, no isn't that the new one? The Force Battlefront. 
No. Battlefront. Oh, Battlefront was a disaster. But Battlefront got up to forget the yeah, yeah, yeah. forget the whole loot box situation. Different before Battlefront. Yeah, two. the battle just in general though the Battlefront uh, two forget the loot box situation. You had to get like you can get the deluxe version, the gold edition, the ultimate edition, whatever. Like it, it went up and up and up, and you'd you'd add like a hundred. You'd be probably one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars by the end of it. But certain games are worth it. Others not so much. One thing I want to say about Red Dead Two, yeah. which sucks. But like it got like reviewed really greatly, mm-hmm. and like I feel like I'd enjoy Red Dead Two if I wasn't spoiled because like I haven't played it since, which yeah. sucks because Jesse did buy it for me and I actually want to beat it like one of these days. Yeah, it's a, it's worth it. But like I feel like it just died like after the story like with online like people are still playing GTA Five online my, online more like even though it's more developed. Yeah. But like people just aren't interested in Red Dead 2's online because it's just such a slower paced game. Well, it's also not very good. It's all buggy in the the ecosystem. And this, first wonder, GTA. Is this the first G- uh, Red Dead you're talking about? No, second, no, 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 second the second one. one? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, the thing with Red Dead should never have had an online. It didn't need an online. True. It tried um, to copy GTA. That's why. Well, no, they. they they make five million dollars a day, all, still to this day, on GTA Online. Well, they've made, but, the, but they've GTA also Five has made the most money out of any entertainment. They've uh, released right. the proper even, content, no, right? No, but so. even after, well, the thing is yeah. though, Red That's Dead buying currency for GTA, like they don't actually sell things for GTA. Yeah. Red currency. Dead is limited by its time period. You mm-hmm. can't fly a jet while someone's flying a helicopter, chasing after five guys driving cars in Red Dead Be Online. Funny. Like it's just it's limited by that, so they can yeah. only do so much, and they haven't been able to implement the right things. GTA, you can do anything you want. To yeah, it. sky's the limit. Um, if you're an online player, I am not. So that's where Red Dead Two is like, it, it was great, and all, not only that, the attention to detail, the way that they constructed the story. Arthur Morgan, who I contest is one of the greatest characters that they've created, and Roger Clark, who voiced him, was unbelievable. Like I actually teared up four times playing the game. Like. There were moments in that game that they did very well. The cities were amazing. Yes, it was very slow. Like, I'm not saying it's the greatest game ever, and nor was it the the number one game of 2018, because I still think God of War that won it. That was the one that I, I was rooting for, and it won it, right? But the level that the team put together, and yes, they were working many hours a week, but to get what they got out of mm-hmm. Red Dead 2, like, you've got to put in that time. Mm-hmm. And the stuff that they added, things that they didn't even need to, things that people wouldn't even notice, and how how great the the it feels like the most lived in world, mm-hmm. not just from story, but from when you're roaming out there, all for the price that you paid for it. It's absurd at the level it was. Like this is like pushing the PS4 to its limits in terms of graphics, in terms of the the way that it works, and it's almost like a simulator, mm-hmm. at, like at times. It's a slower game for sure, but. Still, like in terms of, this is next level gaming. This is a bent. This is a game that's like, this is where games go start and go from here. That's our next platform. That's yeah. essentially what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why we got into that topic, but because you're talking oh, about the PS4. Like, the, oh yeah, the, 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 end the end of the PS4. PS4. Yeah, no end of the PS4. Oh, yes, the end of the PS4. Like, I don't think like, there's going to be another game. Maybe Cyberpunk 2077. That's going to be a benchmark game. game. Maybe, maybe. Well, when is PS5 supposed to be released? 2020. 2020. So people still have another year. You don't know what games are in development. At the end of the day, it's people might hold out now that they know a date. They're like, okay, I'm just... But if it's backwards compatible, they might as well still yeah. release it if they have it planned. Yeah. Um, actually, there was something else I was listening to. I was listening to a podcast about kind of the future of gaming and stuff. I personally don't like the way it's going. You might differ, and you might differ. Um, in what way? The entire like way it's The entire gaming thing is going towards streaming. And streaming with other players, and it's going towards multiplayer. It's going, it's it's moving away from single player because the the financial commitment to make a single player game without loot boxes, without all that, the, all the stuff mm-hmm. that Red Dead and Witcher Three gave us, which are the only two examples I can think of right now mm-hmm. that you don't actually have to pay to play a lot of times. Um, all of that is kind of being pushed to the wayside because GTA Online broke everything, and they're like, "Wow, people are going to spend thousands of dollars to play this game." Mm-hmm. Um, mobile games, which is now being even bigger in uh, overseas, yeah, they're now moving towards that. Like some bit, like Blizzard is making games primarily for mobile, right? Well, and everyone hated on them, didn't they? Right, but that still. <laughs> see, the thing is this: I hated on Captain Marvel for weeks. It still made a lot of money, and those industries are still making a lot of money because people are still going to pay them. Yeah, especially with esports, which I found out is a four billion dollar industry. Yeah. Like, that's absurd. So, 
these games like League of Legends and and other games like Bat like Fortnite well, League and all of Legends, that Dota have been going on for years regardless. But so. it's evolved and people are paying yeah. money and paying like they the whole thing is 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 changing. You as a primarily multiplayer player, mm-hmm. are you happy? Like are you super excited for the future of games? The fact that they're moving towards streaming, the fact that I think what was it Microsoft or something or no, Google released their video game thing on a TV and everything like that. Everything's supposed to be streaming and everyone's chasing the whole the first person to stream first makes the most money. That's kind of what it seems to be, like a rat race for that. Are you happy? I think like games, because for me, I like having variety. Like sometimes I just like to sit by myself and just play a game by myself. I do like playing multiplayer at times, but like unlike story like games where you can actually just sit down and like do something yourself. Yep. Multiplayer games like Call of Duty get repetitive and like boring because like once you kind of just like, if you're not on a hot streak in Call of Duty, like there's no point to playing it because you're just getting killed, you're getting crapped on. Same with GTA. GTA is fun, but if you're online just getting shit on the whole time, you're mm-hmm. not going to want to play. For a single player game like uh, Last of Us 2, it's like good because you can just, you can control it, you can do things at your own times. I don't think people should invest in single player games because Nintendo is like killing it and they like, you know, focus on like not single player, but like co-op, but like still like co-op on one screen, not like LAN style kind yeah. of thing. So I feel like if, pl- if people like Nintendo especially can like still do that and still kill it because like they're still a company and they're still thriving mm-hmm. and like breaking records with the switch sales sure i feel like sony and like microsoft well microsoft actually is like playing game with nintendo which i love but i feel like sony should just like because sony has the better exclusives for single player games like hands down like they have days gone which i'm sure is gonna do really well they had spider-man last year god of war they they i they had the majority of like the top games Mm -hmm. lists so i feel like i don't like where it's going just in the sense because multiplayer games are fun but i don't want to just play multiplayer games yeah uh, so I feel like just having a good variety, like don't go into EA system because EA is like the f- EA got crucified for what they did last they year. They fired like 500 people this year too. Well, yeah, because they had to because they kind of like had to get rid of the fucking shitty team they had. <laughs> yeah. So well, with the new Star Wars single player game EA is doing, surprised. they said no loot boxes, but they also said that for Battlefront 2. <laughs> so people are saying like, we'll see it when we will believe it when we see it. Yeah. But even if EA, if EA is going to revert to a single player game, I feel like that's saying something about like how they've kind of learned from their mistakes and they're going to mm-hmm. try and do right. Okay. I don't think it's going towards only multiplayers. There's definitely more of them coming out because it's easier. It's a it's a rinse repeat type of scenario. You just have to create the different shooter for whatever like like there's tons that have been created. Um like the Apex, the Fortnite, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Well, speaking of Apex, sorry. Apex was the only one that actually did something from different from Fortnite because yeah. Fortnite there was another copy from that, yeah. and then there was another. PUBG had one, and then someone else copied that. Apex actually did something a little different, but yeah. still the exact same thing. So yeah, but I, I I think it's not as doom and gloom as it you kind of make it out to seem because like there's people that want that story. Like um, one of the bigger games out there is like you get like Bloodborne or Dark Souls. Like those are heavy um heavy first player games. And well, those were years ago though. No, but they're still releasing Dark Souls. A new one coming that came out, and people still play it. So people For want sure that will. story. They want that first player. Like you said, playing the multiplayer thing is just annoying sometimes. You just want to play your own thing, your own pace, and go from there. So I don't think it's the end. It's just a little bit more difficult to put out that kind of content and original on top of it. So not yeah. not be, oh, okay, you're going to make another one. Nintendo's doing well, I think, solely on the back of those classic games, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Smash Bros., um, the, they're like the king of sequels. They're just taking the for, same for characters. the co-op for the co-op stuff, but that's fueling their entire thing. Okay. Now there's I know there's a lot of like younger kid games, I think, but that's what it's meant for. Nintendo's always been the family. Thing. But the You're, Switch also is like they I think more, Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out on the Switch. They have yeah. Dark Souls coming out. Uh, not it's still kidding, but they had Cuphead, which just came out, which is cool mm-hmm. to have an Xbox exclusive actually come to like a Nintendo console. Well, and yeah. especially because you can take that thing and go on the road with it. That's yeah. the biggest. That's the biggest asset for people. I mean, it's not gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work both ways. When Nintendo's gonna give Xbox an exclusive, no. if no. they do, I don't think they need that to. would be like they're just gonna get fucking. The- that would break. A lot of people think no, that they wouldn't need to. You know why? Yeah, because they shouldn't. The, the other, I, yeah, I the other disagree. companies are going to pay hand over fist to be able to use the Switch. Yeah, that's why. Like they don't like we're not. We don't need to release it for Xbox if you're already coming into our yeah. playground. You actually would not want to see a Smash Bros on like an Xbox or PS4. That would be terrible. I don't think Smash Bros. I feel like a smaller like kind of exclusive first. Like Smash, you can't like I think like Xbox even way like yeah. Halo to Nintendo Switch right away. Well, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's all it's whoever's benefiting. But when I'm saying it's doom and gloom, I'm saying that for like. Again, the future, not five years from now. Five no, years from now, nothing's really going to change too much. They are every game is coming out with a multiplayer aspect, or almost every single one. Yeah, and I'm one of those people that if a game has 
the majority of the games that I've played that have also had multiplayer on them have not been good Mm -hmm. in Mm story-wise because one has to compromise the other. It's just the way it works. Now, sometimes they've been able to strike that balance. The Last of Us, I actually had a really good time with the multiplayer. Uncharted, A Thief's End, pretty decent time with the multiplayer. It's very basic, but it works. Mm -hmm. Um, Assassin's Creed was good, but they didn't didn't follow it up very well. Mm -hmm. It could have been amazing because when the Brotherhood came out, it was really good. However, Mm -hmm. the story wasn't as good as number two. Did Unity do a little bit better job too? It was fun, but people people shitted on Unity because of the bugs. Um, bugs and, aside, how was the online play? Oh, it was fun as hell. Yeah. I had a good time on yeah. it. Like I enjoyed it because me and four yeah. other three other guys can yeah. run around Paris the, doing whatever. The one thing about Unity, sorry, the one thing about Unity was that like I didn't like that I had to play online to get through the story as well. So you like, didn't have to do that to get to certain like certain power ups and get to the next level. You had to go up to i i, I found all, that i got all the way to the end and didn't play multiplayer until the very end so i don't, I don't know. know what you were playing maybe i don't know so speaking of Assassin's creed unity i don't know if you guys heard but you guys are big Assassin's creed fans mm-hmm. so the notre dame oh yeah cathedral yes yeah, yeah. unity is now free but they're also using unity to rebuild it yeah which oh, yeah. sounds pretty cool the digital because, scans they did to which, recreate it is gonna say which i am the... so happy for the girl that spent two years yeah. doing it because people did not give a shit when the game came out it's a it's a big deal and i was reading a comment and somebody said finally this game's useful for something and i died laughing wow. see and that's i don't understand people it's it's probably one of the better games it was better than black flag personally to me it was better than number three it was better than rogue mm-hmm. it had it was the only assassin's creed game that had proper parkour in it and like next level parkour parkour yeah. parkour parkour, parkour. parkour. <laughs> um and yet people were just shitting on it because of the bugs, which I totally get. Now, if you go play it, did you have issues when you replayed it? No. Because they have so many patches that like left out. So the fact that I it's... I was also playing your disc, so I don't know if that mattered. Maybe. Because my <laughs> game, I've said it many, many times on the show, had no issues. But if you I'm guys want to super... play Unity bug-free, just give us your mailing address. We'll send you over your G's copy. No, you're not getting my <laughs> copy. Um, but I'm super happy for the team and the, the girl that was, I yeah. think, Carolyn. Carolyn, or, uh, she was the, she was the one. She spent two years just on that man, like on one aspect of a very big game, and it was unbelievable to see. And it that was like, all game. her scans, not just the scans of Notre Dame. It was the scans of all of Paris, basically. The, right, but re- she, the, her, the monuments, I should say. Yeah, but hers was just Notre. Like, yeah. th- imagine spending oh. two years on one thing. That's oh, yeah. all her thing was. Now she had some other people helping her, but she was the lead, and she was mm-hmm. the one on it. So I'm just happy that she's actually getting the proper recognition because the gaming community decided to shit on the game and not care about a lot of the other aspects of it. Which See, I think they let the performance of a few small things affect the overall game. Yeah. And it's just dumb. I'm like, at the end of the day, to me, it's it's the best scaled. And I and I and we were talking about it. I'm like, they need to go back, remaster all of the Brotherhood, AC2, AC2 mainly those things, done. AC2 and Brotherhood, and, Brotherhood, and then make it to that scale, yep. and it'll be perfect. You can't... You can kind of do it for Revelations, only for the start, but at the same time, where they... Constantinople is too wide. like It's it's too too widespread. It's like how um, Egypt and the Greece one was. It's too widespread. There's not really density, except for when you go to like Alexandria at best. But it's just like the sheer scale of that uh, was uh, Syndicate. Syndicate was pretty close, but... Kind of, not as to the scale. No, it was actually closer was same- because it was the only game... It was the only time period that they had actual blueprints of everything. Oh, okay. So the scale of that one is... is Worked out to be yeah, the same, so... But the streets in London are a lot wider. That's yes. why they introduced the hook thing, the grappling hook. Makes sense. Which that was the year of the grappling hook for a bunch of games. Yeah. So you actually did a streamline across a building or went up so you can scale it faster, whereas Paris, you didn't need to because the parkour was so perfectly done yeah. that you can just go up and down and stuff it was yeah. Fun. um yeah that was all i had for video games um game of thrones game of thrones, game of thrones. uh also don't, stream, don't download game of thrones do not download game of thrones streaming i don't know i didn't say anything about streaming i'm not risking it though because five thousand dollars to watch a fucking episode of tv is too much five money. <laughs> to twenty thousand five thousand if you don't respond it goes to twenty thousand oh it goes five thousand is like the first fucking warning it's crazy though up to wow. 20k so and so like yeah, we're talking Thrones, like streaming parties please because yeah sh- can't afford you're, you're more than welcome to come um, over <laughs> the, it's like all the lawyers are crossing the border and just suing the shit out of everybody yeah. that's been streaming or downloading yeah, it, yeah, yeah. which is really interesting because now like a game of thrones is great but it's not like 
why like why would you do this for the for a TV show? Why are you ruining a bunch of people's lives? Streams been going on forever. Mm-hmm. Right? Is this well, going to be a new trend? I, I think it is down because streaming. I've read articles and didn't say anything about streaming. Downloading, downloading is illegal yeah. in Canada. Oh yeah. So that, I know streaming isn't illegal in Canada, but downloading. And they know is. your IPs too. Like they find your IPs and that's how they yeah. track you. It's fucking crazy. So yeah, don't worry. Be uh, be safe out there. Yeah. Um. Okay. Winterfell episode one season eight after two years, roughly two years, because the first one over came out Ju- no, July of over twenty. July of 26, no, 2017 was when the first episode of season seven kicked in. We're talking like from the last episode, but even still. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I think it was July. Anyways, yeah. what do you guys think? I thought it was like a pretty like, solid episode to start off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I found a meme that was pretty funny because when Cersei said like, if you want a whore, buy one. If you want a queen, earn one. Yeah, and Tinder. somebody quoted saying like, all the hoes will be using this quote from now on. Like, yeah. You, 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 or you everyone on it. Tinder is going to be yeah. changing their profile to that. Yeah. The the memes that came out of that episode were hilarious. The brown ones are top one mm-hmm. tier for me. But um, I don't know. Starting at the beginning, it's just like. Yeah, let's go through it. We're, we're, right we're, from the beginning. We're like, not worried about a live show. We can no. Just go. The March is definitely a callback. Oh, there's t- a million callbacks. Not to, definitely. It is a callback. It is a callback to the first episode. All of this is. Right down to the music. You're right. Yes. I didn't realize it at first, but after watching a few times, watching a couple of podcasts and stuff, it's like, it's 100% that, um, the March. Same with even uh, Ned going to Baratheon and saying Winterfell is yours because he's like, has it been nine years? And he's like, exactly. I've been here with protecting or like protecting Winterfell. Yeah. Winterfell is yours, my king, just like Sansa said it to Daenerys. Yeah. The the kid kind of goes back to how Aya, like the kid at the very start, running up to try to see everything, goes back to like that was, Aya. That was Bran. It was it was both of them because she also tried to look up where everything is going. But she was on a cart with a helmet. True. And then Bran is the one who actually climbed up to see. Oh, I see them coming, kind of yep. thing. So, um, yeah. And then the the, the snuff from Sansa right away. She's kind of like whatever. Well, and Arya sees the hound just same yeah. same position where she saw the hound the first time, but he had his helmet on that time, and this time yeah. he doesn't. No. Um, shade, all the shade in the world. Yeah, so many shades of light can't yeah. come through. Uh, between Sansa and Daenerys. Yeah, Bran cutting everything short to say good for him though. Yeah, he's like you like, guys. That's been it doesn't the most matter. He's been the entire time. Yeah. It's like, listen, fuckers, mm-hmm. uh, shit's about to go down. Uh, you don't have a dragon. Walls coming down. People are coming. Yeah, and we got to get this thing going. Yeah. Um, did you have a standout? Honestly, I think the ending of the episode was my standout because I was at like a pretty like. It's great. I didn't mm-hmm. realize. I remember it was, like a friend's coming. Like, who the hell's coming? Like, who's he waiting for? And then when it happened, it's, like, oh, I knew it right away. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one was. Yeah. That one was all the reunions. The best. That was the best. Yeah, yeah. there was all like, the Brandon. I mean, the Brandon John reunion was like go call back to like him kissing him before he exact left. Same way. Um, obviously, who else was the big one for sure? The Hound and Aya, that was amazing. Well, Arya and John, that was yes. Huge. Yes. And he's talking about the needle and she's like once or twice. She snuck up on him. Yeah. That was good. That was a, like a cool one too where it's like, yeah. man, shit has changed. I think John in his mind thinks that everything, everybody's the same. Because even when he kissed Bran and he looked at Bran, Bran's yeah, like, just like him kind of the same way. Mute. But then and he, he realizes it very differently and then with, uh, that was a good t- uh, talk between them was like, I was like, how'd you survive a knife to the heart? It's like, I didn't. <laughs> that was a great line. It, they kind of brushed it off real quick, but at the same time, they were so excited to see each other. So it, it makes sure. sense. And like, she's the one person, it seems like she kind of puts her guard down a little bit more. Like you see more of her kind older of. personality come through. John's the only one that can make that happen. But because she's she still like, stern. Because the two of them were like best friends. Yeah. In the first episode. Yeah. Um, Anthony? Honestly, like you guys are the Game of Thrones experts, like I don't really remember. Well, you like, watched the episode. Right? I watched. I thought it was like a good starting episode. I didn't think it was like amazing, but I understand like that is like you know started it's off. A, it's a setup one. It mm-hmm. had to be. Uh, the only thing I was surprised we never saw anything of Grey Worm or Missende the entire time, other we than the, other than in. the march. That's it. But you don't see them at all. What else did you want to see? They're they're ancillary characters. I don't know. What we're gonna see them make out for thirty seconds in the next episode. Uh, whatever. <laughs> we need to get the important people out of the way. I get that. I'm just saying you just didn't. I see do them like at the all. one guy who's like you helping saw Cersei. Them. Sorry, who's, who's the guy who's helping Cersei like, with the pirate ship? You're on. Yeah, You're I love on. how his one goal is just to bang the queen. Like that's, yeah, that fucking guy has to go. Also, I'm surprised. I'm happy and yet surprised to see Yara still alive. Yeah, she should have been more beat up. You think? Well, but... I mean, how long has it been though? How long was when she was captured? Because she was captured in what ep- the last, the third last episode. Yeah. Of season seven. Let's say a month has gone by. Hey, man. Something like that. Wounds heal. True. But um, 
And he's come with the golden army. Yeah. And they showed the Strickland guy, who's the golden army guy. No elephants for no Cersei. Elephants, <laughs> which I, I'm pretty sure is the is the the creator is winking to the audience because even Cersei's like, I really wanted those elephants. Mm-hmm. They're like, the audience really wanted those elephants. The creators wanted the elephants, but it wasn't in the budget. Expensive. So it's like, <laughs> sorry guys, there are no elephants. So they did it yeah. in a really funny way. Um, uh, but if she, if Cersei never gave it up. Euron potentially could have left. He's that kind yeah, of guy. He's that kind of guy. Anyways. Well, I get that, but I'm just saying he would have left her. So, okay, let's say he does. Let's say he did leave her. There's an entire army of thousands that are doing the queen's bidding. That's fine. So they could have just gone on after him and just killed him yeah. easily. Yeah. Um. First of all, I don't believe there's a child in Cersei's stomach. No, I could no, be a fake. Didn't he say she, she didn't drink wine? He say she he wanted. Well, yeah, but yeah, he doesn't he know would, He wouldn't know that she yeah. would have one in there, right? Does she have one in there? No. No. So, well, it was hinted. Pretending. It's, it's pretending. It's been hinted, the whole thing. And then Tyrion's um, reunion with Sansa says, like, oh, he has she has something to lose now kind of thing. And that was her trying to humanize her, I guess you can say, in a way. But Well, because Tyrion believed. Look, Tyrion has said this on the show before, that the only thing that she cares about are her children. Yeah. Okay? So, in his mind, that's the only thing she cares about. So, she planted the idea of having a kid, A, to try to keep Jamie. Yep. And B to try to keep to to kind of keep put that seed in Tyrion. So any decision he makes it's or emotion. anything that she says, he's gonna believe because he believes that she has something to live for. Yeah. Which is fucking brilliant yeah. for on her part. But it really makes Tyrion a fucking idiot. Like when Sansa said I used to be the wisest man I've ever met known or something. Love this, yeah. I was like, you know what? When you look back at it, ever since he left King's Landing, he's made a bunch of mistakes. True. The entire first three episodes of season seven, he fucked up everything. Yep. And now he's going to fuck up because Jamie's showing up next episode while well, he's here. Well, by the end of this episode, they're putting him on trial. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, there's no army. And then I, I just want that look from Sansa to mm-hmm. Tyrion to be like, you told you fucking idiot. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. <laughs> but she's telling even in the in the teaser to the next episode, it shows that she's like you shouldn't have trusted her either like what were you guys thinking the fact that they even thought it was an idea for sure yeah Yeah. well and and that's where i'm putting this right now sansa is the smartest person in game of thrones right now surprisingly out of anybody it took me a while to remember that and it's like yeah i guess she is now and that's true and that's even what i said she's the smartest person it's like at the end of the day she's she's survived by the seat of her pants but she's actually done some smart moves since then for sure to make everything work. Everything that she... Well, the thing is she's been used yeah. for Littlefinger's game, right? Yeah. She was the one that saved John for the Battle of the Bastards. She's True, the one but that, she's still a bitch for not saying anything in the beginning. Why? Because she should have said, oh, by the way, I could call them and they could come help us. Yeah, maybe. But John is... John is such an idiot. Yeah. John is like... John got tricked by... What's Ramsey, his nuts, Ramsey, Ramsey? Yeah, to go run out there, and that was his first. Like your first thing is to run out there with your dick in your hand and your sword in the other one. Mm-hmm. Like that's like after. And if if Davos never said at that very moment, we gotta fucking go now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he would have been dead. Yeah. Good job, John. Good job, John. He's 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 the dumbest, most naive character in the in the show. I would say underneath Tyrion, but we love him because he's got. All the valor in the world. His little suicide mission mm-hmm. last season. Yep. Stupid. Stupid. Yep. There's other ways to like, you know what it reminds me of? In Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I think it was like episode eight where he was with the firefighter and there's like gasoline. It's probably gasoline. And the firefighter throws the match down and he's like, yeah, that's how like, yeah, now we know. And then Peralta's like, there were other ways to tell. Like, yeah. You didn't have to light <laughs> it on fire. Yeah. Um, that's for sure. All right. I know you're quiet on this, but like, is, was there anything you didn't like? No, like we're I gonna was be like, going to talk. We're gonna be like, I want to talk about this. I want the bulk of this to be this. Yeah. I was like, uh, this, even though it's been an hour already, so. I didn't really think like anything was bad. Like I wasn't like, oh, like this is a waste of time. Like I thought everything was pretty enjoyable. Like I understood it was a setup episode, so I was mm-hmm. like sitting there like expecting anything amazing. I'm just like waiting for the I guess the big battle. Is it this week? Like, no, I think it, no, I, I guess it's next. Like I think weekend. this episode on Sunday is gonna set up for the third one. Yeah, yeah. Because well, all the times have changed now, right? Now like there's 22 minutes added to episode three, yeah. which is crazy. It'll be the longest episode of the whole season. It will, hey? By like two minutes or something like that? Uh, something like that, yeah. Um, I wish two things would have happened in this episode. I wish Theon would have died saving Yara, and I wish saving Yara was actually a task, not five guys with bow and arrows showing up on this ship, which how did he know he was going to be there? How did he sneak past everybody and getting Yara out? Mm-hmm. And it's funny because it went from being night to them being on the ship at, during the day. 
So yeah. I think it was like a continuity thing there. Yeah. Um, I wish that was bigger. Theon needs to go, and it feels like the create. I saw. I heard somebody mention this in uh, in like a breakdown, and I agree with it. It feels like they're keeping the Greyjoys around just to be like they're here, and we don't know what to do with them. Like we're only keeping them around for the to to say the word Iron Islands, mm-hmm. and the fact that Theon got his dick cut off, even though the dude needs to die right away. Like our our level of sympathy for him dying mm-hmm. is getting smaller and smaller. So. Yes, he saves Yara, but if he would have saved Yara dying, it would have sent him off the perfect way. Now, mm-hmm. do you start an episode like that? Maybe not. But I think the way that they saved her was just like, okay, we're I think here. think he might run into the the, the, iron, the army, like the whites. He's going to go fight. Yeah, yeah but I'm just fight. saying he's going to, on his way to Winterfell, he might run into them. Uh, because the, the thing is, they might the Night King might be trying to come south first. Yeah. That's the other th- big theory, but... Back to the episode, uh, John. We're on the episode. Yeah, go ahead. Well, kind of timeline it. I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to. I'm trying to like kind of well, break to it down. Anthony in here. I know that's up to him. I don't know the names. So, like I'm lost. I just kind of like know. I oh, you, but it. you know the moments anyway. But uh, oh, John, the heat of the moment. John uh, riding the dragon. So stupid. I I didn't like that either. I thought that was kind of like I don't yeah. need a how how to train your dragon moment. Yeah. Like so thrown away. It it seemed like the wrong time to do it. Um, they as characters don't realize the the gravity of that happening because we talked about this. Danny yeah, doesn't know that we think Targaryen Danny doesn't died, understand right? the lore and the and the and the history that Targaryens are, to, are the only people that could actually train these dragons and ride them because there's that blood connection and that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, so I think neither of them know it. I don't know if Varys or Davos or Tyrion know, which is maybe why they gave a look, but it seemed very brushed away. No one brought it up at all, like to approach them, like, you shouldn't be able to do that. That's ridiculous. Right, but they did that on their own. True. They were separate. I get that. But then they come back to Winterfell at some point. No one, it didn't but seem they didn't like a fly in Winterfell. No, I guess. Like, when they rolled into Winterfell, dragons came over and everyone's like, holy shit, which Arya's reactions were my favorite. Like, yeah. 30 seconds of Arya reacting to. Yeah. Seeing the army, seeing John, seeing yeah. the hound, seeing the dragon, I was just like, oh, I feel that way too. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I like it was awesome. Like she was so good. Yeah. Um yeah. but the Davos in the, the the thing with Davos, Varys, and Tyrion was really interesting because they're mm-hmm. pretty much like, Oh, we need to get these guys to marry and yeah. then everything could be pretty good and yeah. all that stuff. Um do you think Tyrion someone mentioned this in another in a podcast? Um Tyrion is now at the point where he feels like he felt like in King's Landing where he was the rejected child. Yeah. And now that John and Daenerys are doing their thing, which I think he loved her at one point, maybe. Potentially, yeah. Um, he's now getting super jealous and he's going to do something stupid. It's possible. Like you said, he's been on a bad streak of messing up and being wrong. So it's like, it's just not going to help his case in any way. And then them getting even more together that way is, yeah, pushing him to the side. Yeah. I think he's going to be dead like soon. Me too. See, and that's the thing. Everyone's like saying he's had the, the most screen time, by the way. So yeah, he has. broke down like he's actually technically the main character because he's had the most yeah. screen time in the entire show. Yeah, that actually. Uh, speaking of uh, Tyrion, and then when we were talking about Sansa, the when they brought up the Joffrey's wedding, and then yeah. Sansa's like it had some good moments. It, it had or its moments. That yeah, was so <laughs> awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, that was great. And apparently, because they didn't consummate it, they're still not married, right? Technically, yeah, they're not married. That's the rule. Yeah, okay. that's weird. I mean, it's nice. You gotta make sure that you have sex. Yeah, to do it. <laughs> um, 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 um. Going to uh, the line. No, let's do the Daenerys thing. I think she's gone too. I think she needs to leave. Yeah, I'm really getting a tired lot of people of are, are are hating on her and don't want her around anymore. And especially now, like her whole attitude, and we've talked about it, like their whole attitude about her position and stuff like that. She's actually holding her position higher than people's needs so she's she's basically holding like that's why john eventually he just said like okay he, he loves her obviously and that's one of the things that sounds is like did you bend the knee to save, line. to save the north or did you do it because you love her brilliant line. and so it's like classic schmosby yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's such a so, ted mosby yeah thing 100 like, so this is like, like when this is like when uh ted will was cost barney his job because of fucking zoe yeah and the arcadian yeah exactly so it's like her thing is like she's holding her position as the rightful ruler which technically is not true in a way hold on is it still her even though her 
dad died by the hands of Jamie, or is Gendry still because a Baratheon was a king? I, I think technically Gendry doesn't te- have it because Cersei usurped it, so a lot of just on the... Technically, no, no, no. she took it uh, like she she wasn't the rightful heir to take it. Okay, no. she wasn't supposed to take it. Neither sure. was Joffrey. Neither was anybody so else. So technically, you could say so Gendry I'm saying is the because a lot of people said no, it would be John because he's a Targaryen or whatever, half half and half. Yeah. But my thing is, a Baratheon was king, the last king. Yeah, the true. So then, wouldn't that mean that it would have to be a Baratheon, whether it was a bastard child or not? Yeah. That's where I'm stuck. That's where I'm not sure. True. But everyone harkens back to the fact that the Targaryens had the biggest dynasty and they were overthrown. Sure. And and that's why the whole thing sure. goes around. But yeah, to to be technically correct, yeah, you would say Gendry is the rightful ruler. Okay. In a way. Uh-huh. Um but yeah, Daenerys uh meeting Sam in the library. Oh, bef- is that what you're get, trying to get before to? we get that, I will get there. Um or the Daenerys I'm I'm what? thinking Daenerys is gone for two reasons. One, because I don't like her anymore and she's a very one note character. Mm-hmm. She's literally done the same thing from start to finish. Mm-hmm. Bend the knee. She's got to respect me because I'm her queen now and all this stuff. Like, okay, Miss Thing. Like, yeah. I get what you're tr- – I get your thing, but we're in different circumstances now. Like, it seems like John has brought his girlfriend there that doesn't care about anybody but herself, clearly. And every, the entire family is like, John, don't you see what we're seeing? Like, she's terrible. Mm-hmm. And John's just like – no, we can make this work. We can make this work. Then 15, 20 years later, John wakes up and it's like, wow, nobody likes me or wants to hang out with me because <laughs> my girlfriend, now wife, is a total biatch and I'm completely alienated from everybody and I can only see my friends at the bar in secret when I tell her, oh, we're going to wage a war against um, that tree over there. I'll be back in tomorrow. Like That's what it seems Fortnite. like what's going on here. And I'm <laughs> glad that Arya... I love that Arya told him, don't you forget it. Yeah. She said it as a smile, but I, she said it as like, don't you forget it was like one of the better lines in there. And Sansa. Yeah. Them Stark girls, man. They're fucking geniuses yeah, right now. And, but anyways, the fact that Daenerys mentions we could spend a thousand years in this cave. Yeah. I'm guessing she's going to get iced because Egret said the same thing. Let's stay in the cave oh, yeah. after Jon lost his virginity and she got iced. Yeah. So I think that's going to be the thing, which mm-hmm. I'm all for. She needs to go. And the fact that she Fire made... and ice. Right. Boom. She's fire. She get a, gets iced. That's iced. True. Fire gets iced. That'd be a good t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do it. F word. Copyright. Um, no, and the fact that she made Sam cry. True. Just no no remorse. Like, it, Jorah's like, yeah. this dude saved my life. Captain, Captain fucking uh, friend zone is right behind her, and he's like, yeah, this is the guy that saved my life. And Sam was being nice, like, I stole some books, I also stole a sword, and then she just lays it out, and nothing. And, like, just when he was like, well, at least I got my brother, he acted that beautifully. Oh, yeah. I was getting choked the fuck up. Yeah. I didn't cry, you were there. It was dark, but you were there. But, (laughs) like, doesn't that piss you off, like, when you see that? Like, it seems like just a very, like... You're totally going to go mad queen one day. I'm blinded by how hot she is, so... You are, hey? <laughs> I don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't I'm see it. She's, she's a good look. He's definitely she's a very good look. No, no, no. She is, she's a she's a beautiful woman, but there's like she's at that <laughs> status where I'm like, I'm not that into you like as... like I don't know. I don't find her that attractive. Yeah. Um, but it's just... And maybe because they've turned her character into such a dislikable character. Yeah. Like that... She is now showing the shades of a mad queen. Mm-hmm. Just t- tyranny all the way. And poor Sam has to be like, oh, so you really don't give a shit after just icing them. And, yeah. and that's where Tyrion was right. Where yeah, like, he, he tried to keep her in check for as much as he could. But at the end of the day, what is he going to do? Slap, smack her around in front of everybody? He's going to get iced too. And he can't even reach. Exactly. Yeah. Just hold my fuck. Pick me up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Braun. For a second, I thought he was going to get his dick cut off. Because last time somebody got uh, a girl taken off them when getting a riding was Theon. Which is still really rough thing to do to somebody. Yeah. Um, no, I never knew that. I didn't think anything of that. But it's just a no, it's such sure, a would... it's a funny scene because like it he's sitting hilarious. there, he's sitting there trying to like get it in with these damn whores, and they're sitting there talking about all the guys that got their thing. And Sheeran was one. So they said a redheaded person that yeah, got their, yeah. like that lost their eyelids or whatever. Supposedly that's, that's... Ed Sheeran because oh, nobody liked his cameo. That's hilarious. Everyone thought it was a terrible cameo. <laughs> it, was, it was a whatever cameo. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was just there. Right. It is what it is. Do you think Braun's actually going to do it? No. No. 
I was asking Anthony. Well, I'm there's that trying connect- to get him involved here. <laughs> there was that connection with them. Like, I don't know, back in like, but back in the early seasons, I feel like, like he grabbed it and he's like, okay, like I'll go do, because obviously if you tell me go kill this guy and like, yeah. if I say no, you're going to kill me, he's like, okay, I'll be back later. He's, he's smart. Like, he can't fucking check up on me. He can't FaceTime me like, hey, yeah. did you do it yet? Like, I'll come back later. <laughs> You Microphone did. drop. But I caught it. You didn't drop. You, you didn't did. say anything that poignant. But yeah. um, and given the the very thing that killed Tywin, very poetic. All that yeah. blah blah blah. That's why he ended with like he's, this fucking family <laughs> for sure. Um, but the other thing is, the other thing I was thinking is, um, he's friends with them. He was the one that saved uh, Tyrion the first time uh, out of a, a trial by combat. Yeah. At the what's it called? The fucking the eerie the eerie mm-hmm. I- eerie or eerie the eerie and then. I don't know who did it the second time. I think it was uh, Pasquale um, when he was in... Oberyn. Oberyn. Anyways, so he's been bros with Tyrion, and he's been bros with Jaime, mm-hmm. but he's driven by castles and having his own castle. Gold but my shit. thing is the 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 broth that he has... The bro code. If I'm, the bro code, if we're throwing another High Met Your Mother reference, mm-hmm. between the three of them is so strong that he's going to be like, listen, she want me to do this. No, thanks. I'm going to give it to you. You can go kill it yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah. Thoughts? Mm. I, I don't, I'm on the same page as you guys. On the same page? I don't think he's going to no. do it. He's yeah. going to join them. Do you think he's going to get close? Mm. Like, do you think he's actually going to get, like... I think he'll, like, get kind of, like, like question himself and, like, like how, kind of, like, you know how the, the guy's, like, a sniper and he has, like, the kind of, like, shot lined up and he's, like, yeah. ready to do it and then he kind of yeah. puts it down. Ha. <sighs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... What else was there? There was that. There was that. Cersei, she said good. The Golden Army is there. Mm-hmm. Um, the mountain is fucking yoked. Yeah. The mountain, yeah. Um, so, Aya meeting with the Hound, we kind of... Yeah, we, it was quick, but it was good. There it was, was a lot of respect it there. Perfect. At the end of the day, she's yeah. like, you know, I robbed you. Like, you you left me for dead. It's like, yeah, I robbed you first. And that kind of thing. Called her... You're a cold bitch. That's why you've survived, survived for so long. So and I, he's that's proud. Perfect. But he had like a, a look yeah. of like, I'm proud of you, like yeah. in a way, in his own weird, twisted way. Because yeah. he knew Brienne told him that he was that she was like, yeah. you told me that. It was in it was in season seven when they right. met up again. Okay. Because he the, the first time Brienne saw the Hound again was at that uh, the Dragon Pit mm-hmm. on the way to the meeting. Um, right. And then Aya's uh, reunion with Gendry. It was good. It had that just enough of that sarcasm, but she's trying to hold back a little because you could tell she kind of likes him. Well, and in her they, own they way. both had the like a little exchange. The and he said the milady part. Yeah, from the that, last that time. right there that like really broke cute. her at the end of the day. And then uh, she asked for a weapon. The thing so, we saw in the trailer. So some, I think it's yeah, it was in the trailer. The or, one we of the saw ones. her whipping around a staff, yeah. Donatello it's style. Gotta like, be it's, that. And then one ends dragon glass, and it can detach. The theory that was out there is that apparent she might put her dagger. On the other side, like attach the Valyrian steel dagger oh. to the other side so of that. Like, so wait a, minute. a stick that can detach and shit. Yeah. Hold on, hold so on. what? She's like Batman and Nightwing combined them. Exactly. <laughs> uh, wait. She's question. got the skills on, to do on. it. So she's got the staff. Yeah. Right? And then the attachment is the 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 dragon the dagger that she slit what's his so, face his throat with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then, what are you saying is going on the other side? Dragon glass. It said it in the Ooh, thing. Darth Maul. So it's it's a. Dra- but I thought that was the piece though that was going in. I thought the dagger she already has was the piece. No, that it was said going dragon in. glass in the in the in the picture. It says this this side dragon glass, and that side will be something oh, else. That's good drawing. By maybe the way. it will be a staff because well. because she also used the staff against the in the wave, right? Well, and that's where I'm saying like yeah. she used needle. Yeah, but she trained with. A bow staff. The bow staff. She, so. she might have started Leonardo, but she ended up Donatello real fast. Exactly. And then she might have a little raft in the end. Easy there. That's a little over <laughs> we're waiting for the Michelangelo. Yeah. Or she just comes in with a skateboard and just kind of just boom. <laughs> Pizza. Or uh, what's his face style? Orlando Bloom. Yeah, legless, yeah. Legless down the stairs with a shield. Yeah. Riding. She's going to ride a shield. For sure. Absolutely. Um, 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 okay, so we got through the Howard to trade. Oh, the reason... I never mentioned this before. The reason I was pissed off with John getting on the dragon now mm-hmm. is it didn't feel like I've we've all been waiting to see it. Yeah. We're all like, he can do it. He could probably do it. And it just felt like, oh, he just did it. And that's it. We're like, that's it. Like, it felt very, I, I really wished he would have done it in a time of yeah. need. Like, my only like option right now is yeah. to get on this fucking dragon. I don't know if I can. Yeah. Um. And, and then he would have delivered the line where someone's like, I didn't know you can ride a dragon. He's like, I didn't know either until I got on one. Like, like he would have delivered it because the way that she did was just like, oh, anybody can do it. They just only like me, right? Mm -hmm. But it just felt like such a throwaway scene where it's like, you guys want to see him do it? Here he is doing it. Yeah. 
on the other hand, I'll play devil's advocate here in the Do sense it. that it's the naiveness of both of them not knowing what it actually means to do it. 100. That makes it okay. Not great. For sure. But it makes it okay that we're like, you know what? It'll work. I'm not super happy how they did it, but it definitely will play into later when they have their conversation, whether he'll actually have it. And we'll get to that with Sam and Ruby. But also to be fair, like if he did have to like go on a dragon, like last minute and like battle and he did ride it, like, you know, and he like got the hang of it. I feel like people would bitch saying, okay, well, that's like unrealistic how we could like kind of do it on the fly like that way. Yeah. So you mean like you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't? Mm-hmm. That's yep. fair. Like you went, you either go with the There's no somewhat good epic <laughs> one with all the questions versus the romantic one with kind of like, eh. yeah, yeah, because it was more of a romantic, yeah. like I True. can show you the world. Exactly. That's all I was thinking when it was happening. Yeah. Um, we go from there. We're jumping all over the place, but yeah. um, Theon saves her. Okay. I didn't like the fact that Cersei slept with Euron. I thought she was. I know why she did it, and I think a mm-hmm. lot of it had to do with the fact that Jamie's gone, and she's actually Alone. affected by that. Yep. I think she's, which like she's again. I've said it before. She is the best actress, and she's the best character in all of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's my standing. She is outstanding, mm-hmm. which kind of bugs me a little bit because this season we won't see a lot of her. No, not as much. Like I, I think we're gonna see very little of her. It's gonna be amazing. Her stuff but... won't matter as much as, as compared to what's going on, especially in the next two episodes. I don't think. You might see a, a one to two clips in the next episode, and then nothing in the third. You might get back into it in the in the other one. Sure, in the fourth. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I don't know how it's gonna play out, but yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of didn't like that she did that, but I, at the same time, she knows that he's a guy of basic mm-hmm. like desires, I guess, so to speak. And yeah, um, she just kind of did it, but she looks so disgusted after too. Like she just like. So let's do it the weird way. I'm gonna put a baby in your belly. Like, mm. What the fuck? Walk away. That's like, why he also has to go. Like yeah. he's such an unlike. I don't. Like, a lot of people is, are like, the, "Oh, we love him because he's yeah. such." A, I'm like, I don't. I actually do not like his character at all. But she's like, when she's talking to him, she's like, "You're the most arrogant man I've ever met." And it's like, sure. I kind of like it, but I also hate it. <laughs> it's like, well, but, so but it felt like. And don't get me wrong, that line that she gave, where if you want a whore, go buy one. If you want a queen, mm-hmm. you got to earn it. I think that's a. That's a great line. True. I don't think it's a reason for every single female to start putting it on a banner on and the, start walking the streets with it yeah. because, you know, not everyone's a queen. We all know that. But on the flip side, he basically lays out, have I not earned it? I brought you an army. Sure. I decimated all your enemies for the most part. Like, sure. you know, I don't know what else you want from me. How else can I prove it? She says, oh, after the war was the original deal and stuff like that. But she's still saying, oh, you have to prove it or you have to earn it. It's like, I think I've earned it at the end of the day. Yeah. But given the circumstances and why she had to do it still sucks for her. I think it's, I think it's a very deep down. I think it's less of like you earned it and more of like, she's in a bad spot right now. For sure. She, she knew, she knew she'd have to, she'd have to do it. Otherwise she's like, he might leave. Yeah, exactly. He would leave. She also has a prophecy to deal with too. All her kids are gone. She's now expecting her brother essentially to kill her, which could be Tyrion. It could be Jamie, unless Tyrion is actually a, a Targaryen, which is still very much on the table. Yeah, that one has never. I don't think it's ever come to light, and I I've except when Tyrion touched the dragon. Exactly that the fact that he has a connection with him on that. So that'll be interesting if that ever does come up. But the, who could the only one that could confirm it is Bran, which he's right there. Exactly, the dude's just chilling but, out, creeping the fuck. But out he of the he way. needs to be given direction. It's like he needs to map it in a direct way. Again, maybe going back to how he had to figure out that Lyanna and Rhaegar actually were legitimately married, and Jon's on a bastard. Right. Is he gonna warg into a dragon? That's potentially it. Good. Cool. He could. One of my favorite Bran memes was uh, like the scene from the original Halloween where Michael Myers standing behind the bush. Yeah. It's like Bran, like every scene of Game of Thrones, just yeah. standing there. <laughs> I don't know. I like, the, I like the one from The Office. Where that it's one's like, my favorite one. Yeah. Because remember that scene where, where they're going to that um, place yeah. where they play it's pool like and stuff? It's like a rec room, basically. It's like, uh, <laughs> well, that, it's like that new place that opened up. Yeah, Essentially, yeah. you can play pool. There's arcade games, all sorts yeah, of fluff like that. that kind of oh, stuff. and then the, yeah, he comes up behind him. And then Angela's like, right yeah, behind him, and he's like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> they put Brad Dude, there. That scene was one of my favorites, uh, and that meme was excellent. Oh yeah, that, all, all actually, the brand memes are hilarious. All the brand memes are really good. Um, actually, then the one where it's uh, John, Daenerys and John's head on the dragons, and it's the how to train your dragon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really good too. <laughs> um, what else are we missing? John and Sam. John and Sam. So we that talk- was handled very well. So Sam being told that his brother his dad was dead he didn't care so much about he did care but not as much but hearing that his brother was there too and but he started that was the beautiful part about his performance. yeah he started tearing up because it's like 
all the things of like you died this way. Yeah. I really wanted to you to love me the mm-hmm. way that I love you, even yeah. though he's such a shitty dad. Yeah. He's still like you could still see the pain there. True. But then the brother was like, take him right the fuck out. Yeah. And Jorah that's standing behind it, like, I don't know what to do here. Awkward. Like, this is awkward. <laughs> like, I kind of wish I had some grayscale or whatever. So, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to get out of here. Oh no, it's coming back yeah. again. Yeah. Um, but anyway, sorry. And him running out, talking to Bran right away. I, he ran out. He was obviously angry, upset for sure. And then he happened to see Bran. At least it wasn't a Scott Evil type of run where he's like, yeah, arms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just want to point out that nobody in my gene pool runs like that. <laughs> and then Bran tells him like, "You got to tell him now." Yeah, and it's like it has to be you. You're he trusts him more and stuff like that. And obviously, it goes again like you're his brother. Well, not really. I'm not. <laughs> it's like, and I'm waiting for an old friend, which was amazing. A, such a great line. Amazing. Because even I had no idea. Like I knew right away it's gonna be like did, hey, oh yeah it's like because Jamie's on him. his way I'm like it's Jamie 100 percent I didn't think he'd get there that quick yeah um and then uh, then he tells him yeah. which was awesome because he passes by Lyanna Stark statue correct it's, and then he it's ends in up the foreground in the in the sh- background like, in the background of it um be- he, so he's kind of between Lyanna's and Ned so yeah. it's like kind of the both situations happening which they're is, across from each other are they not in the tomb I can't they remember. are they are so that that was the cool thing about the way they shot that scene is that he passes by liana mm-hmm. and now when he's turning and facing sam that shot mm-hmm. is ned being there which we talked about this on monday yeah uh not on the show obviously i talked yeah. to my brother outside of the show um where ned told him when i return i'll tell you about yeah your family or whatever your mother we'll talk your about mother. your mother yeah, yeah we'll talk about your mother and so him kind of being there in statue form mm-hmm was uh pretty in, pretty poignant yeah my my whole question this week was if daenerys never never let's say daenerys never burnt the tarleys yeah uh or never even told him at mm-hmm. that point in time do you think he would be like you're the rightful king but she seems like a pretty good queen so the two of you can be together he would have told him in a it. different tone he still yeah. would have but he was angry he sure. knew she was the wrong person to rule yeah right away as yeah. soon as he heard that, he just, it clicked in his mind because Sam's just this pretty smart too on his, in his he, own way. He's, well, while Sansa is the smartest person in terms of all, like the yeah. street smart, and so is Arya. Yeah, he's obviously the book smart. He's yeah. the he's a logical. He's also yeah. logical in his own way. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and he's the one telling the Game of Thrones. That's, yeah, that's not even so. Even him starting it out with saying, "Did you know?" Like right away into the sense, "Did you know that Daenerys did this to mm-hmm. to my you know." That kind of thing. And that's when he proceeds to tell her that, you know, she's not the right fool you are. And I like that line is like, it's like, I'm not talking about King of the the Northern, I'm kind of like talking King of the Bloody Seven Kingdoms. And he goes like, great. that was awesome line to me. And I love the way he he gives it out and stuff like that. And, and they start going off. And, you know, John's initial reaction was like defensive to the sense of like, you know, my, you're telling, you're calling my dad, Ned Stark, dishonorable. You know, it's these the exact opposite. Exactly. Like, sorry, he made a lie to you, but his sister is way more important than you, John. Yeah. But uh, he went right into defense mode, called the treason, all that stuff. Well, because how would you feel finding that out? True. Do you think they handled it well? I thought, like, just overall, like, the, I don't know his name, but the actor for Sam, like, just, like... Mm-hmm. He's amazing. He just, like, brought he's it up. so good. Because, like, I did, like, agree with you. I forget which one of you guys said, but, like, how it kind of, like, elevated, how he's kind of, like, mm-hmm. choked up, and he's kind of like, yeah, well, my dad was kind of, like, an asshole. But at least I have my brother, and then she kind of looks at him, like, ooh, no can do <laughs> about drill, that. Baby doll. <laughs> and then how he just, like, then he walked out angry, talked to Brad. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was the whole like kind of. I thought the ending was much better than the start of the episode, in my opinion, for sure. Yeah, because oh, yeah. everything was like it was doing that whole thing where everything's coming together, yeah. definitely. But the performances were definitely getting mm-hmm. much better. Like everything was doubling down, yeah, ramping up. It's almost like if they if they shortened the first intros to like ten minutes, it wouldn't have been as fulfilling. But like the last forty minutes, mm-hmm. they went to town on stuff yeah. like that. Then no, they, but Sam and John's interaction was probably the best yours yeah for sure for having them talk the way they did and like in the end he still believed it he he believed sam because again he trusts his brother there's no reason for him to lie to him and say that well and sam is like hey uh, by the way even though i'm lying to you you're the the actual king kind of thing it's like yeah um yeah no that was it was well done it was well handled it was well shot like that was a great great shot like and the, the, the scene the way that it went george lucas helped shoot that really yeah I, he was on set i don't know he's probably he he gave him some pointers i think he was there and wanting to see everything and i think he's credited a little bit for helping direct produce something like that the episode 
So, Probably but they brought credit. they brought back one of the directors from. I can't remember what episode it was. He directed one of the older episodes, but he was back again. It was kind of nice. Well, they, which they'll probably do. I mean, they got yeah, the, exactly. They got, they got the battle guy to do the other battles. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Anything else in that? So we move from there to uh, Hearthstone, he- Heathstone, he- Heath- Last Hearth, Last Hearth, <laughs> the home wow. of the um, the home of the Umbers. Yeah. So because that actually yeah. we forgot the Umber kid because when. Wait, we forgot a lot of stuff in the well, sense we that... We forgot the, the interaction when they met with all the lords and kind of talked and stuff like that. So, so Umber, Umber was really funny because he's, he's like, like, my my lady, my... Or, or my lord, my, my lady, lady uh, my, my queen. queen. Yeah. He was just like, sorry. <laughs> but Lady Mormont, man, the, the look Shh, that the northerners yes. gave her was just like, what yeah. the hell are you doing? Like, who the hell are you? Yeah. Like, they are uh, they are an interesting group. They are for sure. And I mean, I I defend John in the sense that I guess he gave it up to save the North, and if that's what it took, that's what it took. It's like, okay, this, this she's gonna Daenerys is gonna be stubborn as hell. I'll bend the knee despite the the all of you see the love connection. But he's like, it doesn't matter what I'm called. It really doesn't. To well, him, and to him, he didn't care. And like you said, it was the greatest honor of my life. But it's no, I never wanted it, and I'd rather do that than I'd rather give it up than you know Daenerys decide not to come. Well, aside from that, yeah. I think what's bigger was okay, Lady Mormont for sure. Always calling everyone on the She shit. dished it out perfectly and yeah. she's right. But John was like, I brought you mm-hmm. unsullied. I brought you fucking dragons. I brought you Dothraki. So mm-hmm. it's not like I just gave it up, pieced out, banged this chick on a boat, lost a dragon, yeah. sent a bunch of people on a suicide mission, which is kind of what he did. But I still brought all of these things back. To protect us. Mm-hmm. Sansa, though, was smart because she's like, what do they eat? And then Danny, of course, whatever they like. Mm-hmm. Of course, Daenerys. Sure, Daenerys. Yeah. Um, so I ag- I am with John in that one, even though Lady Mormont had nothing wrong. Like, she mm-hmm. said nothing wrong. Yeah. She was very in her right to, like, question it. Like, mm-hmm. yes, we gave you this and, and all that stuff. And John saying I didn't want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you had it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't care if you don't want it; you have it now. Lots like, of people with power don't want the power. Like, yeah, especially once they get it, mm-hmm. right? Um. So, but now we move to the what's it called? The last hearth. The last hearth, which is the first place that they showed in the opening credits. Which True. we'll get to the opening credits because those yeah. opening credits were stellar. Um, and somehow. Somehow those guys made it off the wall. <laughs> I don't understand how. Because last I'm I glad checked, they did though. Listen, <laughs> oh, oh, is it the flame sword like group. Uh, yeah. So da- uh, no, um, da- da- Dario. Dario. No, not bitch. His name. Torment. Torment. Uh, something starts with a D. Barrick. Barrick on Darren. And who's the other guy? I forget the other guy's name. He was one of the original guys from the Watch. Uh, Ed. Ed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torment. Barrick. Ed. <laughs> yeah, this is Ed. <laughs> um, yeah. That scene was so good. Yeah. The interaction. That was like the final scene, like one of the final scenes, right? Second, Second last. last. Yeah. 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 Second last. Um, I don't understand how the hell they got from that mountain. Because last I checked, when it was coming down, they were still at the top. Yeah, but it's all connected, right? No, I know it's connected, but they were at the top while this mountain is being yeah, destroyed. But they went to the part that didn't. And how do you hide from an army? Like... The army broke that. one section. No, I get that. They happen to be on this uh, on the part, like let's say that didn't completely crash right away. They had time to run across the wall, and they went all the way until they get to the next castle so they can come down. That's and, what they did. And so when they came down, were they facing Last Hearth, or were they facing the other side? Because if they were facing Last Hearth, guess what? There was an army True. of whites. But that time, the, the the army, army of whites, whites already the, the White Walkers already. Passed by, let's say. So they waited for the opportune moment, passed yeah. by. Clearly, they passed the last hearth by that point. So Did they? Of course they the did. the Umber kid was in Winterfell. Somehow he came back to last hearth, and then he got pinned to the wall. And all I can picture this whole week when I think about that <laughs> Is scene that kid screaming? Is like, no, no, no. Not, well, the kid screaming was fucking crazy. That was like, and really well done. That, they haven't done horror in a while. Like, they did it very well. But all I can picture is like them slaughtering everything in the Night King, putting on an apron. Cracking his fingers and be like, okay, I need some space. I need 25 arms. 
we're gonna do some Bob Ross stuff Gordon here. Ramsey style. Yeah. Where's the lime sauce? <laughs> and like he's just sitting there placing everything while like Enya's playing in the background, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's placing these arms perfect. Stands back. Yeah. It's missing right. something. I what? need to put a kid up there. <laughs> oh wait! Someone get me the under umber kid. Bam! <laughs> Takes his apron off. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. So like, what was the point of it though? Like, what was the? It was a, sim- it was a sign because the spiral look. Now, some people say it goes back to the Targaryen sigil, so it's maybe uh, a warning to Daenerys. I'm coming after the rest of your dragons, kind of thing. I'm gonna screw you guys over. Um, uh, the spiral is also in the weirwood tree that he was created. The Night King was mm-hmm. created. Um, was like but in the first episode. It was a circle with a line through it. So that's another symbol, I think, part of the Children of the Forest as well. I think it's... But, it, but it's still connected to the Night King. True. In their so, own way, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the spiral is also with uh, the Fist of the First Mess with all those horses. Yes. So they had that spiral, that thing. They also think like when Daenerys was in... Um, first got to somewhere... Dragonstone? No, no, no. Marine. Okay. Remember when they Misa thing whole th- first happened? Oh, they Misa Misa it. So they she was in the middle, and then John in the middle. Every they, time I hear that, they, sorry, I keep thinking of Happy Georgia. Gilmore. No, you know that uh, Misa Misa lady? Oh yeah, uh, I yeah. think I just killed her. <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck. Uh, so yeah, the symbols everywhere. This I think is served obviously as a hundred percent a warning that he's on his way and screw you guys kind of thing. So I think of it as like a a gang tag. Mm-hmm. Like in uh, what's Perfect. it called in, in in GTA San Andreas, where you tag a wall yeah. or something to be like, "Hey, Grove Street is here." Mm-hmm. But the people were saying that it is a target. It's the Targaryen symbol, so, so he's yeah. actually specifically targeting Targaryen or something. Yeah. The other one that I saw after I messaged you the Targaryen thing because you sent me an actual article that broke it down mm-hmm. was that he's what the hell is that? Sorry. It's with water. Oh, um, it's his powers are tied to the Weirwood Tree. <laughs> And that Melisandre told John at one point to burn all the werewoods. And I don't know if that's actually book or show. Because I, I think it's actually more to the sh- to the book. To the potentially. book. Maybe. I, I can't recall any time she's had the conversation said, by the way, go burn those things. It yeah. might help you. But his powers are tied to it. So yeah. because it started with the tree in the middle and a spiral, everything else is like that. And it's kind of like he's drawing power from it. And it acts both, of, both as a gang tag. Mm-hmm. Like we're here, bruh. Yeah. And it the werewood is a source of his powers. Yeah. Um and so it's like, hey, this is how we're doing it. Yeah. I'm here now. Yeah. You know. So definitely. But if it's a Targaryen thing, the interesting thing is so maybe the prince that was promised was a prince promised to the Night King. True. If the is the whole prince that was promised thing, which is a lot of peas in there, was before the children of the forest stabbed the original White Walker. Mm. Or did all that happen? Like, did the White Walker no, thing? I think Night the White King Walker. And after? Well, the Children of the Forest created the White Walkers to fight the first men. Right. But was the Azora High prophecy before that or after that? Because if after. it was before. Okay. After. So if it's after, there is a thing where maybe it might be Cersei's baby that was promised, Daenerys's baby that might have been promised by the Mad King. So if John and Daenerys had a baby, which is going to be really gross, but it's obviously happened before. Um, be maybe murdered. that's who he's after. He's after a baby of some kind because he has a thing yeah. for turning little babies into. Could be Sam. Whites. It could be like little Sam. It could be little Sam because he stole crosses. him. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, could be the Targaryen prince. Who yeah. knows? That scream was haunting. Very much so. That and I saw the in inside the episode from HBO, and they actually had a, a you know a little person play that that piece yeah and they lit them on fire and everything sure so i mean they got their gels now and all that stuff and sure. they wore the mask and it was pretty pretty intense how they do that stuff now it was awesome yeah, yeah. um yeah opening credits i know we're like kind of i didn't pay attention to that i don't know was you didn't hey special I guess so it was it's it's first time they've changed it completely oh. it's so, completely different yeah. it almost looks like you're they did 3d style this yeah. time like not that it wasn't 3d before but it was more like you're actually following the path of the white wall yeah it's almost like you're so where the tiles are on the map, they're actually, they actually flip over yeah. as it's progressing. Uh, it goes to la- it shows the wall coming down. Yep, shows them going to Last Hearth. Shows Winterfell. Shows all those places. But that path is those tiles are flipping over. In that ring thing, it shows the Red Wedding. It shows um, the comet that was from the first. Yeah, which actually apparently is a little bit might be more to it in the end of the day. Yeah, that like, well that that that's apparently tying to Azor High. Yeah. 
Uh, it shows four dragons or three dragons or something yeah. fighting something. So it actually shows some stuff in that little chandelier band, thing. Yeah. And then it goes in places like it's going in King's Landing. It's going into the basement where they have that scorpion that, and they had three dragon heads. heads yeah. Uh, it goes through the hall. It goes into the throne room. Boy. Like it's it's really fucking the cool. way the throne came up was really sweet. Yeah. And then. You oh, saw, yeah. Like each individual sword yeah. was like kind of. Pro- oh, it was dope. And then you saw. I don't know if it was in the last season at all. Did it show that this the the symbol behind the Iron Throne was a Lannister lion now? I don't or was remember. that in the. I can't remember. Small little detail. And then the company that did that actually wanted all the credits to be like that. And each one's going to be different every episode. Now it's going to be different every now episode. And actually, yeah, I think they wanted to do that before. And it would have been amazing to see. But even what we saw, Still cool. and if you paid attention to the details, how things, especially like in the early seasons when Winter will fell, like was became like the Boltons or is on fire. Then it was on the Boltons and then it became back the Starks again. So it was really cool that they paid attention to those things and stuff like that. Uh, you said they've completely cut out Essos. I don't think Essos is going to come back in any way at all. I don't think it needs to. Um, only because I saw something today, actually, of potentially with Melisandre. There's actually a little bit more to her. Yeah. That could potentially, but we might save that for the next episode. Yeah, we don't know where she is. Yeah. Um, there was somebody, somebody showed a clip of the Iron Bank conversation that she had. Mm-hmm. Um, and her owing something with somebody, and that could tie into Euron, and now I forget what it was. I should have written the fucking thing down. No, that's all right. Um, is there anything else? The very last scene, which with, I agree with, was probably with Jamie. that was to me it's perfect. It's it's tied with what John and Sam had, but then the power of just no words being said, just the scene of Jamie showing just up, the facial expressions. Yeah, he had years of like character arc in one look. He yeah. did so good. At the end of the day, like we. Everyone loves Jamie now. Like, when did he dye his hair, though? Him. Was that last season? I don't remember him. Like, I think maybe because he cut it short. But I, I that, that first that's, episode, that's very, he was he was very blonde, and super all, blonde. even Tyrion had very blonde hair. Now blonde. they're all gotten darker, except for Cersei, of course. So you know, if you don't get your roots done, it's uh, kind of just. But I'm surprised he's actually more his natural color, which is more of the brownish, I think, lighter brown kind of thing. So I'm surprised why they've left that go. I mean, it's a small detail at the end of the day. Is um, it? It is and it isn't, I I'm guess. Just joking, yeah. Um, but it does it. Oh, it does help that he's less it's like when you go under the sun and the bleach. Yeah, <laughs> it does help that he's less recognizable now because like yeah. he's got the white and the beard. He's yeah. he has a beard at all. He's like not noticeable. No one knows who the hell he is other than if they see the hand. But uh, yeah, that look he gives Brad. Yeah, I saw a meme too. It was like because he's walking in, people are like he's disguised. Like yeah, nobody's gonna know who I am. He walks in, sees Brad. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, <laughs> the best meme I saw. It's uh, Brad giving his blank stare as per his, like. Uh, what is it? Oh, Jamie says, "Hey, need a push?" And then Brown's like, "Need a hand?" <laughs> no, he's like, "Do you need a push?" No, I could use a hand. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but that look—you just see his face just drop once he realizes who the hell that is, and it's just like, "Holy crap!" Okay, let's close this out. Who dies next episode? Or do you have something else? Sorry. Uh, one interesting thing I was watching. Uh, who is it on Kimmel? Brand the car- Isaac Hempstead Wright. I think is his name. Uh, how he like masters his blank stares like he's he actually takes his glasses off and he can't see very well so they don't oh. give him contact so he's like he's like I literally can't see you so that's why I can do it so well it's like <laughs> he's literally blind he's just blank staring <laughs> you know you look like a brand a lot I never noticed yeah, that until now look my hair is down yeah. no just, no in general, just in general. You, just, you look like if Bran and um, Stephen Colbert had a baby <laughs> that would be you right now maybe because yeah. of your hair I don't know but yeah next episode who dies I don't think anyone will yeah, die. I was gonna say, I don't think. Like so? it's, it's still another, I think it's still a setup. Where, the way that's going to end, and I think, is that scene we saw in the trailer where, like, that white uh, horse, the horse, undead horse is going to, that, that's going to. And gonna, the next episode is right into battle stuff. Yeah, because if, if they just added 22 minutes out of nowhere, I got to I believe it's mainly to be able to do build up to the battle slightly, yeah. like small build up, battle, and then. It might. It's going to end in that episode for sure because they've given enough time for it. But there's got to be some big stuff that happens next episode. Oh, 100 percent. Like the trial of Jamie can't take the entire. No episode. one's going to die though because we've already seen Jamie in. Uh, I'm not saying Jamie's going to die. No, I'm just whatever. Even that, but I don't think anyone will die. No, I, I can't. I can't see it happening. It doesn't. Nothing from the last episode tells me that anything should happen. Yeah. My, s- minus minus if you see the Glovers getting destroyed because I don't know how close the Danny the, Glovers. No. Okay. 
wherever the hell the Glovers, I can't remember how close they are to if they're like before Winterfell kind of thing. Because yeah. the Glovers opted not to come. That was the fun thing we kind of skipped with Sansa is like whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, she gets that letter from the Glovers that they decide, no, we're going to do it on our own and they're all going to die and be part of the army anyway. That you know end. what they should have done is installed uh, dragon glass or Valerian steel trip wire. Mm-hmm. So as they're walking, it just starts just cutting them. At the There's a big thing with the Valyrian steel too. It's like, I wonder if they're, it could potentially realize that it's just the metal infused with the, the dragon glass. Because you see the black in, in like John's sword in the stuff. middle. There's all the black well, and be- stuff like that. So I wonder if it's just a, a cross between the two. You cross smith it in a certain way and that's your Valyrian steel at the end of the day. I don't know. It's well, it's a theory. It wouldn't really matter anyways because dragon glass on its own does stuff and Valyrian steel. True, but own. I think it's stronger with with well you know any sword in any type of situation if you had a buff to it it adds a little bit of extra yeah you know in the I witcher know. i remember applying some oils and i was able to take down certain animals put some salt these. seasoning salt in there put in the other yeah. five minutes salt, salt bay. Bay. <laughs> yeah put it in a, in a kiln mm-hmm. some pepper um yeah i see the next do you do you have anything for the next episode i was lost in this episode <laughs> oh damn <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you were on this episode to get caught up. <laughs> we got you. I see I see a lot of setup. I see obviously the descent with Daenerys and John, which that's my most highly anticipated and awaited situation to happen because I'm over Daenerys. Mm-hmm. Uh and I'm waiting for Sansa to just look at Tyrion and be like, You're a fucking idiot. She'll give her side awesome. eye again. She won't say anything. She'll just give her side eye. Like, yep. And she doesn't okay. have to. So good. And I, we forgot to mention, I'm glad that Arya has kind of put her revenge plot aside and is really with Sansa. Like, they are now, like, they are a really yeah. good team. Oh, yeah. They are they are an awesome duo. Which even surprised John again. That goes back to his naiveness. Because, no, but, but the last time we saw him was season one. Yeah. So, so last time like I saw kid. you two, you hated each other. Yeah. Literally hated each other. And wait a minute, now you guys are really good friends. Like, you definitely obviously miss a lot because it's been a long time, right? That was the cool thing about this. It's a lot of season one reunions. Oh, 100%. Which we have, you know, which were crazy, right? There yeah. was that moment where Arya almost ran into Sansa at the Eyrie, yeah. but she ended up getting turned around because the queen had died because Littlefinger pushed her down the, the moon hole or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Next episode is coming up. Uh, if you're listening to this, it's going to be tomorrow for you. Well, because it's a Saturday. This if you watch on a Saturday. it. If you watch it. On Saturday. Make sure you watch it legally so you do not. It's $5,000. Uh, Just buy HBO. Find. Use Just the free month. It's a free month going on, I think. Right exactly. Now. And you only, you don't even need a month. You need five weeks now. So a month and a bit. Yeah. Uh, or Just for a friend. New YouTube. Yeah. Um, new so yeah, that's it. Let's wrap this stuff up. Did you actually do your finger turn to wrap this up? Yeah. You actually want to wrap this up? My ass hurts. You're yeah. at, oh, that's what those seats I got to pee. We're not in the I'm in. Dude, you could have gone to the bathroom at any point in time. Well, now we're at the end, so it's, fourth, I can't go now. I am <laughs> the fourth water bottle of the day, okay? I this am, is 32 hours. I was ready to put the bottle four. underneath the table. I am <laughs> comfortably. You can get up at any time. You know, I like, know, but we. Because we're into the conversation. This is the first time I've got my legs spread out. Oh, my God. This is almost two hours. One more hour for Endgame. You got to fucking start preparing. Don't pee for it. Oh, yeah. Also, a week until Endgame. Next week, also, no live show, but we will be releasing an episode at one point in time again on the Saturday. We're not going to be talking about anything end game next week. We're going to save it for the week after. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Um, if anything, we're just going to yeah. Or stay away uh, from meme pages. If you see any like with car spoilers or shit like that, if you I'm, see that image, you fucking scroll. Yeah, you scroll I, as fast as you can. I'm most likely taking that Friday off. So if anyone else is taking, not working, I don't we can. You don't. No. So then we could probably have an episode on Friday, like during the day or something. Yeah, uh, I might be working. Oh, okay. Well, let me know. I will. Okay. Sure. If not, Anthony and I will have. Maybe our... we'll throw a bone to Jesse one day and tell him to come on. Well, I know that uh, me and me and <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> me and Jimmy are doing a deep dive on Endgame probably Saturday or Sunday because we did one of Infinity War. Nice. That's still our highest rated one. Nice. And we gained like three or four. Jimmy said like three or four of his friends like really like listen to us every week That's like good. through there because of that one so i told them uh to come back and we're gonna do another one that was like three and a half hours too okay that's oh, it almost as long as end game yeah. almost as long uh my, now one might be longer who knows uh okay that's it thank you everybody for listening from wherever you are at uh we're almost at a 900 or we are at 900 on youtube which is really surprising 899 was the last time i saw it so um nice. i'm happy to see that and uh getting some you know eight to nine people that listen to this on youtube anyways um that's it Enjoy your second episode of Game of Thrones. 
Uh, be careful out there. Like we talked about for the web, the web is fucked and full of spoilers. And uh, we're going to catch you next Saturday. I'm G. It's been your boy, Biggity Biggity Fs. Vasily. Oh, also make sure you're following the F Word podcast on Instagram and Entertain Facts on Instagram. We're out. We'll be right back.